Go ahead. I can listen to you rip off my intro for Let's Vape anytime. Let's vape. Rip off your intro. Yeah. Grab what are a, you your talking favorite. About? Grab your favorite apple juice. Sit back, relax. Dude, I'm so sorry that something that simple is what you consider original. Oh, shit. There was a frame, a, a little second of us all up on the screen there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm used to screwing it up by now. Okay. I was all excited because I got it right. And obviously, anyway, here we go. But there you go. There you go. Screw you guys. You're going muted. Just... I'm muting Bo all of you. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it all. This? It's Faith yeah. Stew. Just, just uh. watch this. Wow. <laughs> that, was that was fucking priceless. Yeah. Oh, and then they can still hear us because I didn't mute us. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sex is too loud. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. It's Vape Stew and uh, it's messed up. That's how we roll at Vape Stew. Um, say what's up, guys. I just did a whole intro for you twice that nobody heard. So uh, what's say up, what's guys? up. S say, say how's what's it going. Up? How's it going? <laughs> this how's is uh, Johnny Drips. We've got Mike down here, the Fishman13 on Instagram. And then below him, we've got Builder Guard, Travis, all of what's JMT up? Elite. Uh, why don't we start off? JMT Elite is the group of builders that put up kick ass pictures on Instagram. And, uh, dude. I've seen some pretty kick-ass pictures of the freaking Reverie also, which we'll talk a little bit about as well, because, yeah, it's my show. We'll talk about the Reverie. <laughs> um, but why don't we start around? Yeah, that was supposed to be funny. You guys are supposed to laugh at my stupid jokes. <laughs> there we go. See? See? Come on. I figured you'd I know this by sure now. I just want to make sure this is legit this time. It's like the third time we've done this. Oh, I want to make sure this is right this time. It's been can bad, they hear right? you? It's been bad. Can you hear me? I hope they can hear me. Shit. I need some apple. Can you hear me? I need 15 apple juices. Um, this is this is great apple juice. Tonight. I'm sure it looks it looks like cider. Wonderful. Um, so let's start off with Mr. Johnny Drips. Tell us a little bit. Well, he's over here. Tell us a little bit about what you're vaping on. About yourself. Say what's up. Let's, let's right. do the thing. Uh, I am Johnny Drips on Instagram. Uh, been building for about three years. Uh, me, myself, uh, Mike, and Travis uh, on the screen. Uh, we are JMT Elite, which stands for the very unoriginal John, me, Mike, and Travis. And uh, <laughs> if you couldn't imagine, uh, we're members of the Band of Builders Build team. Um, we've been part of that group for probably about, what, two years now, guys? Two years? Yeah, we started about two and a half years ago. Um, but anyway, uh, we are the creators of the Warrior RDA. Um, Stan asked us to come on today to kind of talk about the warrior talk about what went into it and uh we're excited to be here and share everything with you guys for those of you who haven't uh maybe watched the the video i did with heavy metal or uh it's been mentioned a few times but we're, we're here to talk about it for anybody that hasn't heard about it yet uh so with that being said i'll get into what i'm vaping on uh if you could imagine i'm vaping on a warrior on that no dreamer matchy matchy <laughs> with that Alton button, you can get that on lucidrda.com. Thank you very much. Uh, got you another dreamer with a reverie. Yeah, how about that? And an admiral with the uh, the taste the rainbow warrior. Uh, juices I got going on is some out of this world Saturn from Paradigm. It's a really good peanut butter custard. You guys should check it out. The Cloud Chemist Chemical X because I'm. Um, still in love with cereal vapes and uh 12 tribes uh this is called dan this is another cereal vape frosted flakes and then i got the uh 
Infinix with some 50 milligram in case I feel like cracking out. So with that That's being said, feel. take it away, old man Travis. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Johnny, so much. Yeah, to go there. Not only am I part of Band of Builders, but I'm part of this special team called the Bucket List Club that Johnny made for me. And our whole goal is to do stuff that old men do before we die. Anyhow, so I am rocking, obviously, the Dreamer with my warrior on top, the gold one, gold as fuck. And, uh, man, I love this thing. In that, I'm rocking uh, Transpose Redline, awesome juice here in Texas, Austin, Texas. And, um, yeah, Johnny and Mike and I, we have been hard at work for the last six, seven months trying to get this RDA out and make this thing a builder's RDA, but not only for builders, but for vapors everywhere. And I want to get a huge shout out to my brothers and band of builders. Without them, I don't think this RDA would really be here right now because we got together. Johnny and I hooked up on our chat and uh, Mike came in and we just blow this thing up. So Stan, thank you very much for having us on here. Thank you, Stan. Yeah, thanks for being here, man. Why don't you pass it off there, Travis? <laughs> All right. So Mr. Mike, the Fishman 13. Thanks, Travis. Well, I guess I'll introduce myself first. I'm Mike. I'm uh, the Fishman13 on Instagram. Been building coils for about, I don't know, three, four years now. I'm also uh, involved with a band, uh, team member of the Band of Builders build team. And uh, like Travis was saying, the, the last few months we've been hard at work on the uh, the Warrior RDA. And uh, before I get into what I'm vaping on, I just want to say we the Warrior RDA was carefully considered from every every little detail from the bottom up, from the chamber size to the post to the branding. Everything was mulled over and considered and the wording and the documentation, everything was edited from the bottom up, you know, so everything was perfect. And uh, I guess after that, um, I'll go into what I'm vaping on now. I got a Watofo Basilisk with a black warrior RDA and some tiny fuse clappings in there that I'm vaping at like 50, 60 watts, great vape. And I got this paranormal DNA 75 with a coil or a D pro dripper with a single coil and I got a little sore in air for some salt nick. If I'm feeling like uh, Johnny likes to put it a little uh, crackheadish, and I want to get a little Nick, uh, Nick fix. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's about it right now. Pass it on. Pass it on to Stan. <laughs> <laughs> what, to me? Uh, well, John, Johnny went right, Travis. Just pass it to whoever you want, buddy. Pass it to you. <laughs> Pass it to me. What's going yeah. on, guys? Mr. Just Right One. Damn sure checking back in with you guys today. It is an absolute pleasure to be here. I wouldn't be here if the check had not cleared. So, Stan, thank you for the check. Yeah. Greatly appreciate it. Still it's waiting all right. Mind. I know you need more vape gear. Mine's yeah. supposed oh, to no be joke, man. While, no man. No joke. Sorry. Definitely. Sorry. I know. I know that was me. So, so, so. No, nah, nah, dude, dude. Trust me. It is a. It's something we're going to talk about tonight. I don't want to go over that <laughs> for damn sure. But uh, thank you, JMT Elite, for being here. Guys, I am, it's no secret, I am a Waterfall fan member to the core. Like, them guys, they're family to me. We're, we, I mean, we spend a lot of time together hanging out, talking, going over ideas. And the Warrior, I didn't see it all from the beginning to the end, but I mean, I have a lot of knowledge of the progression of this thing uh, from early on, way early on. And I think it's a phenomenal piece. I am vaping it on it today on top of the Mach 1. I love the fact of the size because the Mach 1 is a big device, so it fits really nice up there. And inside of that, I am vaping on our sponsor, Silverback Bobo. Vaping on that. And the APOC Timo Kiwi Fruit. And that's what I'm vaping on. I'm going to pass this one off to Daily. Let me unmute myself. All right. Um, yeah, so I've got... The uh, Snow Wolf X Fang with the Rift Core Duo from Joy Tech up top there, the one with the ceramic plates. That's all the controversy from Mr. Jay Hayes that's in the chat right now. I <laughs> uh, hope I don't die from vaping on this thing. Um, in there, I've got uh, some Nasty Juice Wicked Haze. It's from the UK, and it's delicious. It's got some menthol in there. Uh, it's uh what is it uh it's black currant lemonade 
and it's just something you can't really find too much here in the states next up we've got the purple setup yeah the purple 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 dreamer with the purple reload on there thanks to demo and i've got some lemon twists watermelon lemonade i'm feeling lemonades tonight i don't know what it is next we have the rage and drop dead combo Ooh. with the fresh build friday build in there and some vaporist tree of life peach to see it my peach fix and i've got my little kind of hemo we set up the bennett tool customs squarius squonker with the uh alliance tech vapor what is this or alliance vapor tech whatever which one is it i can't remember the flav the flav 24 um with the, the nice like ultim cap on there yeah uh and there i've got some yoda <clears throat> delta this is like a dessert flavor and it's like a custardy, caramelly goodness kind of vape. It's delicious. So I'm rocking it. It's really good in this Flav 24. Uh, I've also got my mini fit here with some... Man, I can't remember. It's uh, one from Propaganda. Wildfire, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff. And that's me for tonight. I'm going to pass along to Demo. What's up, guys? Um, thanks, JMT Elite, for being here. We all really appreciate it. Um, tonight, I've only got, honestly, I've, I've got two setups tonight, right? And I have the Bassium with the Drop Dead as well. The inside of the Drop Dead, we have some frame staples that are soon to be available on lucidrda.com. And uh, these are just, just awesome. I'm rocking it in variable voltage mode. Got lemon berry inside. Mm. Super, super, super good. That Soren Air with a uh, cool melon juice. I can't even, I bought it locally and I can't even remember the name of it. I didn't grab the bottle. So sorry about that, but it's awesome. Soren Air and that's it. <clears throat> and uh, back to you, Stan. I guess that brings it to me. Very cool, very cool. I am rocking the Dull Dimes number 20. Nine, 29. I always forget. Number 29 with a reverie on top. And uh, focus, focus. And inside that, I am rocking some new label Vaptasia. Good on you, Vaptasia, for changing your labels. Killer custards looking sexy as ever. I'm also running, I guess I'll show off this one, the Purple Dreamer with the JMT Elite and Watofo Warrior RDA with the stainless button. And on top of that, I am rocking the <clears throat> Blaz Mango, available at lucidrda.com. That's the peach, Stan. Oh, sorry, the Blaz Peach. I know it's peach. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. <laughs> <laughs> also rocking so have that. you baked it? <laughs> yes, it's in the freaking warrior. Shut your face, hole. The blue elite. I forget shit, okay? Just like I forget to turn on the stream whenever it's time to start Fape Stew. The blue aluminum dreamer with the Reload X Hapu Mod Strip Tip. Rocking that. Inside that, I am rocking some of this Transpose Red Line, which I was just introduced to by Mr. Bildegard, and it is fantastic. Thank you very much, Texas Love. Also, the Sci Fi which you don't see anything about anywhere, and I don't even know if they're still making it with a peerless on top that has the transpose in it as well. And the Warlock's Hammer Dual Parallel 21700, couple 30Ts in there with the Glass RTA from Steam Crave on top. This thing is nasty, nasty, nasty. Inside that, I'm rocking the Nan Rouge non rouge from itm independent isn't that how you say it independent vapor company ivc sorry itm i don't know what that means um oh shit i'm knocking stuff over and last but certainly not least this which is awesome this is a charger for my jewel so i'm rocking my jewel here uh. with some 50 milligram Inside that, I got some mango and then some cool mint also. Check it out. 
Oh, 62% left. It'll charge it like three times. I can carry around in my pocket. Don't forget it's there. I don't leave my jewel laying around. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Let's run through some shout outs real quick. $10 donation from Mr. Danny Castle. Shout out to the Vape Stew and congrats, JMT, on your new project. Very cool. Thank you very much for the <laughs> donation, sir. Overdrip is in the house. NorCal Sick Boy, what's going on, bro? Monochrome with Domino. Jay Hayes is in the house, the one and only reviewer of Hammers. Um, Joey O, Frank freaking Wolf, Billy and CEO, Sammy Nitro 5150, also a builder out of Canada. Very cool. I think he's, uh, is, is the team called Builders Armageddon or Builders? Build AB? Armageddon. Yeah, there you go. Michelle Lynn is in the house. What up, Michelle? Robert Shorky, not so scrawny Connie, Overdrip, I said your name. Chuck a Cloud, Twisted Hex. Uh, Troy Harrington, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. Let's go up to the top here. Chestina Gloina, what's going on, Chessy? Friend, Chris Hall is here. Sadie07 says, Nasty Juice is Malaysian. Sweet. I, I don't know why I got tagged in that. <laughs> Mitch, what's going on? Vaping Joe. All right, how about some Instagram shout outs? Nick, Nick the Quick. Muted Let me Nick. once again unmute myself here. There you go. Um, <clears throat> man, I, I was not prepared for this transition, Stan. I've got something. If here, I've got I've got something to take up time for a second. Um, we have someone in chat, not so scrawny Connie. She's a member of uh, the Vape Stew crew and is also a member over on Discord. It is her two year vape anniversary today congratulations follow her on instagram she does awesome advocacy posts congrats also we have a newer reviewer in chat as well monochrome with domino he actually just uh he's uploaded two videos so far i watched a second video today and it's actually pretty good so you should all go check him out as well so <laughs> all right anyway it's actually pretty good. go for it so speaking of not so scrawny Connie, big shout out to her for posting on Instagram. A little shout out and shows some love for us. Um, that's not dot so dot scrawny dot Connie underscore w wvc underscore. Uh, if you care to follow her, we have Martin M four. We have Danimal Vapes, Frank Freaking Wolf, uh, Viral underscore Hatched, NorCal Sick Boy, Shadow Link Vapor, Poon Sauce McNasty. We have Todd Black, 5590. Of course, Mr. Just Right One, you know, you got to have him. <laughs> Not that he needs a shout out, but hey. Uh, Vapor Swaggins, Mark Clough. Uh, we have, who else, who else? Demo Vapes, that's you. We have Swaggins again. People were tagging me like early this morning about the show. <laughs> um yeah, so I'm trying to look back now. Yeah, I think that's it for right now. Very Let me check my DMs real quick. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yep, that's it for the first round. Very cool, man. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on Vape Stew. And, uh, yeah, any news that you guys heard about? Maybe a little something from the Cancer Society? Anybody want to talk about that? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, so. Talk about it. Just so about the it. Cancer Society basically has said... Yeah, um, we should probably be endorsing vaping. Duh. Um, they basically have said that, and that is a huge win for us because that means that the government basically has to pay attention to it, and Big Tobacco has to pay attention to it. So, I mean, do you guys have any in input on that? Like, what do you think of that, of hearing that news? I Well, let me tell you, it definitely does – it does not take away from our uh, responsibility to continue fighting. Absolutely the FDA not. The comment period is over, right? That was yesterday. It was done yesterday. So, but, you know, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears peeled. You know, like, we're, we're still in this fight. But that said, vaping just got a lot more legit, right? Like, when, when, the, when the American Cancer Society puts their mark of approval on it, you know, then what, how, do you, how do you keep arguing, right? It's like all these things keep rolling in our way. You know, and that's a big one. So I'm I'm pretty happy about it. It's about time. Absolutely yeah. it's about time. Catch up uh, with most of the uh, other civilized countries in this world. Kinda makes you wonder what yeah. the heck took so long, what was going on. Like who who finally Yeah, exactly, right? Who finally did that? Yeah. Uh 
that also I noticed that CASA, uh, they did a response. I guess the FDA is doing their lowering nicotine thing again. We talked a little bit about this in the past. The denicotization <clears throat> of cigarettes. Right. Um, CASA said, because CASA is a tobacco harm reduction organization, we generally do not take a position on regulation of combustible products. However, since CASA also represents current smokers who many in the future choose to use tobacco harm reduction products, we submitted a comment on this ANPRM because we are concerned about the unintended consequences of dramatically reducing nicotine levels in combustible cigarettes and how that may actually harm smokers instead of reducing their risks. I 100% agree with that. Yep, I do no, as well. I disagree with that. Your okay. body titrates nicotine, right? You, you, you will smoke until you get the nicotine sensation that your body wants, right? You know, for a lot of people, they mm. might just be like, well... I'll just deal with that like shitty couple weeks, you know, and then like, you know, but most people are not, they're just going to smoke more. You know? right. Right. I think they're the mentality right. behind that is the price is going to force people to buy less, but in reality, it's, it, it, oh. it's that's not how it's going to work. People are just going to smoke more. And take look, it. look at it from like a dieting aspect. If you eat a bag of Oreos every day and then you're like, well, I'm going to cut back. I'm going to buy hundred calorie packs. Chances are you're probably going to eat the whole freaking box. Exactly. <laughs> Very true. So, yeah, been there. I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Yeah, there I you do. go. There you go. Um, Wait. At the same time, you've got companies like Juul introducing lowered nicotine Juul pods. They're going to be doing that to where basically, I guess, 50 milligram isn't going to be just 50 milligram anymore. They're going to introduce like 25s and so on. It'll be a 30. Um, it a makes 30, sense. Okay. That's, that's I think, a good idea. Yeah, I, I think that that, that is a that press release. positive thing because you're not getting the – I mean, so what if you vape a little bit more? If if you need it, you vape a little bit more. If 50 is too much, you vape a little bit less, and you're not getting the combustion and all the chemicals caused by it. So uh, there's two different ways to look at that from two different aspects. It's apples to oranges, I know, but I, it was just a way to bring up both. Yeah. Um, so very, very cool. Well, let's talk a little bit about – jmt elite i mean you guys kind of did did a little bit in your intros and stuff but i'm curious i'm curious how this whole jmt elite thing started um you guys said you came out of the same build team uh were you all on the the build team before how many guys are on the build team what what brought you three together and how did jmt elite get created what what do we have like 10 10 members on jmt elite now (laughs) yeah we have 10 10 yeah and uh yeah, exactly builder, 10. 10 right uh builder guard uh travis was one of the uh creators of band of builders and uh mike got brought on pretty early i'm kind of like the the new one of the newer guys um they had a build competition to bring on new team members and uh me and two other guys uh coil chief and nick wiggins we uh we were competing against each other and uh they couldn't choose one, so they chose all three of us. So. Yep, they were all fantastic. I yeah, mean, well deserved. Rock. Well deserved. So they uh, they put us through the ringer to get on that build team. I know for people that don't build coils, you're like, well, what do you have to do to that? Well, they made us really push our skills to the next level, uh, which I appreciate now. But at the time, I was pulling my hair out. So, <laughs> and as you can see, I don't have much left. But um, yeah, so you know, we uh, we chat the same all boat. the time. Yeah. We, we chat all the time uh all of the guys it's a very very um very busy chat and uh one day me and travis were just bull crapping back and forth about what we did like and what we didn't like about current rdas on the market and um it kind of started out as we wanted to take an existing rda and at the time it sounded like a good idea but make improvements to that rda and offer them as accessories but obviously that probably wouldn't go over too well. And we realized that about 30 seconds in. Uh, so, you know, we were just like doodling, drawing designs. Travis had kind of had a uh, idea of a two post style clamp system that he liked. And uh, he sent me probably the worst drawing I've ever seen in my life. And, yeah. I was on a little receipt uh, about this big scribble. Yeah, And, and, and nice. it's in hindsight, I look at that and I like, I don't tear up, but, it gets the emotional feelings going. And uh, he sent that to me and I was just off to the races. Uh, my what? mind would not stop working. We chatted for probably about two hours straight. Um, mm-hmm. And I was just drawing like nonstop. It was like, 
you have a few times in your life where you get like an aha moment. That was it. Um, basically, uh, the, not the specifics in, as far as like measurements, but we designed that whole RDA in two hours. Uh, from top Holy to bottom. crap. Um, yeah, we went through a few post renditions and back and forth and yep. a lot of drawing, trying to figure out the squonk positions. And Johnny had a really great uh, idea about the airflow on the top cap. And I was like, hell no, I want three holes. And he said, no, Travis, you're a jackass. I said, okay, let's go with Beehive. Yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> and, brash if you guys don't know. I kind of just say how I feel. So uh, Trav takes it pretty well, wink, wink. But uh, <laughs> so it's 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 good. Um, and then you know we were we were talking and we were like you know how how are we going to get this going? You know what what can we do? Uh, you know not being <clears throat> extremely popularly known on like either YouTube. Uh, we had a pretty decent following on Instagram uh, compared to you know <clears throat> builder realm. But uh, how are we going to get uh, an RDA made? And um, the original thought was you know. We're Americans. We like to support American jobs. Yep. We wanted to do an American made RDA. And uh, very quickly after some research, I've found out that getting the RDA done being pretty unknown and investing your own money, uh, it was going to be probably about not 80 to $90 our cost, uh, which would have been mm, $110, $130 RDA, which, you know, if I won't buy it myself, I'm not going to try to make it for other people to buy. Um, and we both pretty much agreed on that. So, uh, um, yeah, and it gets to the point, uh, where are we going to fund this? How are we going to fund this? Yeah. And that's when, that's when Johnny was able to make that connection. <clears throat> and, uh, I mean, with, with tofu, it, it was just game on. And at about that same time, you know, we knew we needed a third person to help us out and really be non-biased to this whole design aspect. And that's uh, that's when I mentioned, hey, what do you think about Mike? And both Jenny and I were like, yep, that's the guy. Yeah. And so Mike has a ton of business background. He has a ton of business experience. He owns vape shops. And, you know, he was the right guy at the right time and the right fit to bring it in, bring, bring him in. And he has added so much input and um, knowledge with him to the war, and it helped really grow it. So, I mean – that's kind of how we began. That's how we began, really. Yeah, like like Travis was saying, uh, a project like this is kind of, you get that initial idea, but it doesn't really grow into that polished, finished product until you really start making a couple revisions and carving away at it, just like you know any other type of art, I guess you'd say, or any type of design. You start off with an idea, and then it's really in the, the editing and the, the little nuances that you change is, is what really makes it, takes it from a good idea to you know, an exceptional idea. Right. And, you know, that was the case with this. I mean, props to Johnny, man. He, he, he sold the idea. He, he was the man on the spot who sold the idea to Watofo just cold. I mean, that's, he's yeah. got that, um, that charisma that that's needed to, 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 um, present a project like that to a company like Watofo, an established company and make them believe in, in our vision, you know, the way we see it. Yeah, and, and full disclosure, uh, two things. Full disclosure, um, I did have at the time um, a very small relationship uh, with, with Mike Vapes just through mutual friends. Um, one day I was in a chat on, uh, I think it was the vape team, and uh, Mike was taking questions and I said, you know, hey, Mike, how does somebody that's, you know, a nobody get an idea that's really good across to a company to get it made? And, uh, you know, with hundreds of people in the chat flying by, he took the time to send me a message and said, hey, just uh, just email me, which I thought, you know, it shows, you know, leaps and bounds what type of person Mike is, because, you know, it, I'm sure people ask him questions like that all the time. But he obviously had some sort of belief in me to where, you know, he would take time out of his day and, um, you know, put his relationships with manufacturers up for me. Uh, to have a, is a possibility. So I wanted to thank Mike again for that. Uh, it, you know, he's a great guy. Mike is uh, definitely but, a good dude. Good, definitely good, a good yeah. dude. We he, all have to thank him for that. He's he's a machine. He's a machine. That guy just never stops. It's 100% vape. Like people say vape life. Mike vapes is vape life. 
Um, but one important factor that we left out of the beginning of this story was that it was a few days after Christmas. I think it was December 28th, if I'm correct. And yeah, Travis, was in, of all places, Travis was in Africa uh, on vacation. Vacation in Africa? The, yeah, South Africa. Get, get this. Oh. The day that we came up with the idea, his uh, house that they were renting and staying in at the, vac the vacation oh, had got sorry. ransacked by baboons. <laughs> <laughs> they, no shit. He took pictures of yep. baboons and they tore the kitchen apart. And it, you know, it, something like, you know, monkeys like freaking out your house. That's just like sets off something for RDA design. It should have been a yeah, baboon with like a Spartan hat smart. on. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the next one, Stan. Why are you giving that away? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The red ass the RDA. Har the Harambe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's something about getting on my hands and knees and cleaning up animal poop for three hours that just sparked it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nice. Jeez. That'll get you. Uh, that'll definitely get your mind in a different place. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, a well, interesting story, to say the least. The, the way Johnny was kind of introduced to with Tofu was also kind of crazy because they showed up at his house one night at 11 o'clock unannounced. Yep. And they still sold like, with Tofu. They still sold them. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, they they were supposed to meet me at a local vape shop uh, about an hour from my hometown. And uh, they had gotten my address to send me product. Uh, earlier on and um, I'm sitting there on the on the couch with the wife kind of like chomping at the bit because I know I got this meeting with Latofo tomorrow and uh, I'm, I'm sitting there I'm in a uh, uh, I'm in a uh, not a wife beater because that's <laughs> <I'm really correct. laughs> a a white beater. tank top and some gym shorts you forget these things uh, yeah yeah dude and, like, <laughs> Dude, I was letting it all hang out. And I get a message on Facebook Messenger, and it's a picture of my house. Like, a live <laughs> picture. Like, Creepy. Out, out. like I'm like, whoa, this is weird, dude. And it just says, we here. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the hell is we here? I'm like, why do you have a picture of my house? They're like, oh, we out front. I'm like, uh, so I'm like, I'm getting my, I tell my wife, she's, you know, She's freaking out because we got all these freaking dogs. We got a rabbit. We got our house is like a barn. So she's putting dogs away, running upstairs because she's not like dressed to, for a company. And, uh, you know, I invite there's uh, six Chinese people get out of a minivan and walk into my house at 10 o'clock at night. And uh, they're oh, like, they're to off me. Yeah, they're, <laughs> That's dude, exactly it, it. Like it, it was crazy. And uh, they just sit down. They're like, OK, let's talk. And I'm like, oh, okay. So they're like handing me like Chinese jerky and Chinese <laughs> cookies and all these snacks. And they're like, here, eat this. And I'm unwrapping it. And I'm like, what is it? I'm like allergic to things. And they're like, oh, you're <laughs> just eat it. I, I can't help but think that's why that's why uh, you were able to close it, Johnny. You were just you were better off like that on the spot, yeah. under pressure, and coming through than you were, you know, than you would have been the next night. Yep, I didn't overthink it. Uh, you know, I, I was very passionate in my delivery. Um, I explained everything to the T, why we were doing what we were doing with certain aspects of the RDA. And, um, the, the, and you made the answer, made how much do you want? And I was like, <laughs> yep. all right, here, we're, we're here. This is real. So. That kind of sounds like uh, Watofo's mo there. I mean, Joel told a story about how they just like show up. They or they they're like, hey, we're gonna be there in thirty minutes. So yeah. uh, maybe one day, all you guys in chat, maybe one day Watofo will show up at your house. Um, <laughs> Ryan Kraus, yeah. thank you very much for the ten dollar donation. He says, "What's up, guys? Love the show. Just showing some love and support. Keep up the great work. I appreciate it. Thank you very much." I also uh, really enjoy Robert Shorky's hashtag. We here. Yeah, hashtag. We, <laughs> we here. here. That should, be on your, that should be on your like that should have been on your like official release post on instagram hashtag we here <laughs> yeah. monochrome. 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 classic <laughs> loves chinese jerky hashtag happy ending no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was a happy ending, so. it was a happy ending i prefer <laughs> this happy ending over a normal happy ending well i'm one of those guys that is very I don't want to say jealous, but envious of 
I guess it's the same thing. Envious of builders like you guys. Um, there's a couple of builders on my very trusted test group that I use for hardware. And uh, Mangled Meditation in the, in the chat. He's an amazing builder. Uh, but I follow I follow you guys. I follow a lot of like really good builders. Nick Wiggins and Mangled Meditation on Face Killer. Yep. Those guys on uh, uh, on Instagram just to look at it and kind of be like, you know, wow. Like it's just it's art. Like you said, it's it's kind of like art. And uh, I don't have the time to de- to dedicate to that type of thing. It's not like there's got to be some kind of meditation in it for you, some kind of really centering, calming. I mean, is that how it is for you guys? Because I kind of can see that. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yes what? and no. If I'm having a bad day. <laughs> I, I can sit down and, and spend some wire and, and yeah. not think about anything else but that. Yeah. Like for me, um, I, I come up and I have a little vape layer set up. You guys can see a little bit of it. I, uh, you know, a lot of people will like watch, you know, YouTube or listen to music or whatever. But me, I need complete silence. Um, I can't have my wife in the room. Can't have any animals in the room. It's like it's my time where I spend thirty minutes to four hours working on a build. And uh, you know, most of the time I'm pretty calm and I'm, I'm very I'm in my 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 zen. But then there's the moment where you F1 fuse up on something you've been working on for four hours and my drill is about to go in the drywall. So Exactly. <laughs> I've and, and the pile of freaking wire hair that sits underneath the build table in the trash can because you just can't get that stagger yeah, down. It's all part of the experience, though. You got to have a, you know, if you want to get into some of those more complex builds, you got to fail on a certain amount of, of tries before you get it. And it's, you got to really- go all up to experience. Right. This drill is awesome hit- just, just like anything else. This drill has hit the floor more times than I uh, would like to. Admit. Yep. That's yeah. why it's a yes and no. It's a yin yang totally. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's like anything else. Good days, bad days. So. Yeah. You, you know, you get what you the time you put into it is what you get out of it. You know, yeah. some some guys who who do have more time to sit around and prep a build for four or five hours, and if it fails, sit down and do it again. Obviously, they're going to be able to turn to turn out more complex builds than somebody who's, you know, got an hour at night on a, after a long work day to, you know, try to eliminate some stress and, and, you know, chill out a little bit. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all about the art form and, and, and enjoying yourself and, you know. Yeah. And what, what a lot of people don't understand about building is uh, like you follow uh, Instagrammer a, well, his feed looks amazing, beautiful pictures. All of his, uh, his builds are perfect. That that's not reality. Um, there's a lot of people out there that do knock consecutive builds out and they look perfect every time, but what they're not posting is when they really fudge one up. Um, you know, obviously we're, we're showcasing what we're proud of. You know, I've, I've posted pictures of fails before because I'd still might be proud of it. Either that or I spent so much damn time on it and I'm showing it to somebody whether they <laughs> like it or not. But uh, yeah, it's so, you know, if anybody's out there that's interested in building um, I've kind of, taken some people under my wing over the years. And if anybody ever has any questions, you can feel free to message me. Um, I answer every single message on uh, Instagram. Uh, it might take me a while, but I'll get to you. And I promise you, I'll, I'll give you any bit of knowledge that I have about well, anything. Feel free to uh, put y'all's links in the chats there. Uh, I didn't see Mike, but I got Travis and Johnny as moderators. Um, Mike, if you type something in, I'll make you a moderator. <clears throat> but are, have you guys been to any um, shows, like done the build thing at shows or, or anything like that? Have you got anything coming up maybe um, that people might be able to say what's up to you? Because uh, I know Joel's got a show a show story he wants to talk about here that we can talk about yeah. after that. <laughs> Not a good one, though. I'm sure these guys have wonderful show stories. <laughs> we uh, Travis and I have been to a few shows so far this year. We were in Foxwoods together, and we were also at the uh, Vapors Carnival in uh, Chattanooga yeah. together. Um, I was also at Showcase with Joel uh, in Atlanta. Um, I was recently um, in Mobile, Alabama, uh, down there for NVE. Um, I've kind of burned a lot of my vacation time. And with the child coming, um, I don't know what to expect. Uh, there's NVE uh, Richmond coming up uh, next month in August. That's about a three-hour drive from my house. So uh, if little little baby uh, Dribbles is here and everything's good and my wife is okay and gives me permission, uh, I may be there hanging out because I know uh, like Mike Vapes and uh, Mark Fagan and Brian are all going to be there. And uh, 
I love those guys. So if I can make it down there and hang out, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to. Um, yeah, we. I'd love to go to to Vegas uh, next year. I think it is for NVE. So I got my eyes on that one. Yeah, we definitely got some plans for the future, you know, and and that's gonna some of that's gonna depend on the the success of the RDA, obviously. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, yeah, we do have a website up, jmtelite.com, and uh, any events coming up, we're gonna be posting updates on there. Yeah, and so then, go there and check it out. The website is gonna get updated uh, pretty often. Uh, we're not going to be selling any of the product on there, at least at, at this uh, venture. But uh, if you guys want to get a little bit background on bios of like who we are and what we're doing, um, we would consider ourselves, uh, you know, obviously vapors, but may, more so of a design company. Um, we don't want mm -hmm. to stop at the Warrior. Uh, there, there are other plans in, in the making. Um, nothing concrete yet or that we can talk about, but... Uh, I will say this, I got confirmation last night that there is, in fact, going to be a special edition of Warrior coming soon. Yes, mm -hmm. there is. Ooh, fancy. Is it going to be awesome. diamond encrusted in gold? Oh, uh, not you, quite Stan. that fancy. We're talking like China. Is it going to cost $1,850? Like, like, yeah. Like, like, gold. like that stupid dot mod tube. So yeah. it'll, be hot, it'll be hot pink. Yeah. That that would, gold yeah. And CZ. Hey, I'd rock the hell out of a pink Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> I dude, I would too, man. Yeah, dude, I'm all about that rainbow life. Not um, really, but. guys. Guys in the chat, I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know if you have any questions. I've seen a couple of them. If you have any questions for the guys of JMT Elite, go ahead and post them up in the chat. Uh, I just wanted to tell Johnny that I'm not sh real sure you should look too forward to going to Vegas, considering the situation Joel just had there. Why don't you tell us about yeah, that, Joel? Um, yeah. So why don't you tell us, Joel, what what the hell happened there? So, man, I went to Vegas, had a few meetings in Vegas to take care of. Also, they had the Champs event there as well, which is uh, kind of like a co-mingling of the alternative nature of sort for, you know, those that take and partake in medicinal purposes and whatnot. It was one of those type of events. And vaping was there. You know, I did. There were some big companies there. A lot of the companies that are going to uh, Ontario uh, 1st of August already in the states and you know we had, had some sit down talks with a lot of those people lined up and was just executing business meetings all week after going to the show during the day comes time for me to leave i flew in with my vape equipment no problem uh i don't ever carry a check bag i always do carry on like i just i minimize everything to carry on johnny can attest to this because he's seen it in atlanta what i had in my backpack is what i had to survive on you know and I don't know I how he did. I get back My to the drawers air. wouldn't fit in a backpack. <laughs> you know. Just you know, tuck and roll packs. You know, roll them up, tuck them deep, and get it rolling. You know, but get back to the airport and had no problems coming in. Didn't expect any problems going out. I get to the TSA. I do my little uh, clear scan with the eye retina and the fingerprint scan. To, you know, bypass the long security way. Get straight up to the security gate and throw my bag on the conveyor belt, take my shoes off, laptop, three phones, cameras, the whole nine yards, put them in the baskets, roll them through, go in, do my x-ray, walk out, guys pulling all my shit off the conveyor belt to the back side of the TSA line. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? He said, like, you need to step over here with me, please. I said, no problem. He said, all of this belong to you. I said, yes. I said, all right, we're going to go through the bag. I said, no problem. So he starts going through the bag, yanking everything out of my bag, which has a substantial amount of vape gear, most of which I took, but some of which I did not take. You know, some things that were prototypes and some special gifts that were custom made for me that were given to me by these meetings that I had. And sets it on the counter, a couple of bottles of vape juice, uh, about 618, 650s, 221, or 22700 batteries, uh, two prototypes, in which I can't go into too deep on, but two new prototypes, uh, custom-made gift, my Wismec BF mod, and uh, Dead Rabbit. Lays them all out on the counter and says, none of this goes. I said, what do you mean none of it goes? He said, you can't take none of this on the plane. I said, why not? He said, it's not approved. I said, man, I flew in with all of this. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to take it back with me. And I noticed... His, his supervisor standing nearby and his supervisor comes over because I'm pretty hot. I asked the guy, I said, well, can I take it, buy a luggage bag and check it and send it as checked baggage? He said, no, none of it flies. 
I said, what are my options? He said, you can trash it or you can mail it to yourself, leave the airport, find a post office and mail it to yourself <laughs> to the postal service. He said, but none of it flies. When I do my flight leaves in 15 minutes, takes everything that's in all my vape stuff that was laid out at the time, takes it all up and throws it in a TSA trash can with a, a blue rubber made trash can with a hole cut out of the top, chunks it all in there. At this point, I'm sick. You know, I'm like, I got to catch this damn flight, but I'm sick. I've never experienced that. I had no problems flying in or out of Atlanta, which is a very, very busy airport. I had no problem flying in and out of DFW multiple times to get to Vegas, to fly into Vegas with it and not be able to fly out of Vegas with what I mostly what I flew in with, except maybe three pieces and a couple bottles of juice. It really aggravated me and made me sick because some of that stuff, man, I can't put a price on, you know, like if the prototype was to fall on the wrong hand or something, what, how that can affect business relations and so forth could be detrimental to me. Got on the plane with the whole intention of, okay, I'm going to file a damn complaint. Well, I'm speaking to the flight crew guy about it. Cause we had a delay due to rain and all kinds of other stuff. And he says, man, I got my vape in my pocket. <laughs> I'd like to hit the fucking floor, man. I mean, he That's says, crazy. when you when you land in DFW, he says, you need to go ahead and file a complaint with American, which is a company in which he works for, and the TSA at DFW. I land in DFW, immediately report to the security desk, asking and wishing to file a complaint. They give me a card, and the gentleman tells me, don't fill this card out. This is a comment card. He said, there's a website at the bottom of this page, or the bottom of this sheet. Go on there and fill out an official complaint. As soon as I left the TSA thing, I went directly to American Airlines and filed a complaint with them as well. Of course, it's we'll get back to you, we'll get back to you type situation. But, man, I've never had that experience before where I was flying in with things that I was not allowed to fly out with. You know, it just it baffles me. I've never seen the likes of it. Uh, That's crazy, man. Like, I mean, that sounds like something they would have done two years ago. You know. Yeah. Was it That was a domestic flight drill? Yes. Yeah, I've I've flown at least eight to ten times with my baby and never never had a problem doing exactly what you said. You same could. here. I mean, yeah. same here. Never, never had, had everything. Batteries out, tanks emptied. You know, the usual spiel. Never had an issue. That's crazy that happened. That shouldn't happen. Here's the kicker: the battery box, the pelican case, pelican case in which I keep my batteries in. Mm. That alone is a couple hundred damn bucks yeah. for a fucking pelican case. You know, and I mean, I intentionally bought that pelican case for the purpose of carrying my batteries in. It was nothing to them, dude. And speaking to a lot of other people, they're like, man, there's no way. I've never had a problem. Never had a problem. Please understand, I've never had a problem. I've flown multiple times in and out. I mean, with the same. Did his supervisor say anything? Sounds like you got no, the wrong his supervisor the says, I'm standing by my agent's decision. That's he exactly didn't give you what any the supervisor reason to me. the decision? The unapproved. Unapproved for flight. That's the reason. That was a reason in which I was given. Man, I would have got on the website, right? I would have been like, you're all standing here and waiting on me. And I would have got on the website and I would have pulled up. Oh, nobody gave a shit devices. because they were going. I was pulled to the side, you know, and it was just like they had all the time in the world. They didn't give a shit. And the complaint doesn't get him his, it don't get him his gear back at the end of the day, right? I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, it don't, it won't. The I've experience. Seen this, I've seen this once before, Joel, um, and it was Brian from Vapor Chronicles, actually, who who had his gear taken on his way into Vegas. Um, and it was because he didn't have his batteries in battery cases. He had his batteries like loose in his bag. So they just took all his vape what? gear and threw it out. Yeah. Well, see, I asked if there was really? any, like I was thinking uh, on an open bottle of juice or something may not have been right. And it, if it would have been something like, hey, you know, you got, 300 mils of juice and we only allow 100 mils a bottle or something, whatever the shit. None of that was applicable, though. You know, I was asking, what is the reasoning? Because I would have gladly disposed of a couple bottles of juices in order to keep my hardware, my batteries, and the majority of my gear, in which I decided to take with me. I've never experienced it. And to me, man, I, at the end of the day, I just think it was wrong. You know, It and, was. Without batteries in it, it's nothing but inanimate objects. Exactly. Like it doesn't do anything. I, I don't have the damn Pelican case because the Pelican case is in the trash with all the other shit. 
but the batteries were in a Pelican case. And if you know anything about Pelican, they're, they adjust for pressure. They're self-venting. I mean, it's like a legitimate way to transport batteries. You know, and of course, each one being in the little silicone battery boot that I carry my batteries in, inside that Pelican case. It was not, I, even if it would have been just the batteries, hey, we're not letting you fly with the batteries, that had been okay with me. But none of those things are not approved for TSA. Everything on the Okay, list- it may not be unapproved, but it didn't say, uh, he said it's unapproved. He didn't say anything about it's non approved. He just says it's unapproved well, for flight. It, same, same difference. I mean, like, on the TSA website, it specifically states e-cigarettes and batteries are allowed in your carry-on. Absolutely. It's on the <laughs> website, right? So I got a pretty good dicking down in Vegas, and yeah. I'm just <clears> – honestly, guys, I was really distraught about it yesterday. When I get home, when I got home, you know, I'd see my baby boy and just kind of try to set that to the back of my mind for a little bit. But when I woke up this morning looking to go try two new prototypes of mine, mine, they're, they're my prototypes. They're gone. You know, that's like some the stand developing the the reverie, getting his first prototype, and the very next day, somebody taking it away from him and throwing it in the trash, saying you can't have it. it I sucks, punched bro. him. That sucks. <laughs> I've already been in contact with the companies. They're fully supportive. They say no worries. We'll get you another one sent out. They wanted to know why. Why? Because a lot of these same companies are going to ECC, and they're going to be flying back with a bunch of their own damn shit. With tons of yeah. gear. Yeah, absolutely. you know, so they're asking me why, what happened, what was the issue. I gave them the reason, gave them exactly how it went down, and they're sympathetic, of course, you know. But I'm not asking for sympathy or empathy, or anything along them lines. I just want people to be aware, man, that we still fighting as vapors daily with shit like that. Maybe somebody who didn't know, maybe the TSI guy didn't know what he's talking about, and his supervisor is gonna instead of reprimanding him and telling him, "No, you're wrong." Is going to say I'm going to stand by my agent's decision. That, that was the problem right there. You should have stepped in and made and made the and made it right. There's there's clear rules written out on travel with bay products. You know what I mean? And what happens is the TSA is not something you can you can, I can't go over there and do, if I put my hand on the guy, it's over. You're done. It's over with. That's you're a felony right there. You're done. You never flying again. You're going. You're getting. You're done. You're done. I mean, and that's federal too. So yeah, it's yeah. federal. I mean, so yeah. people say, "Oh, I would have done this. I would have done that. I would have done this." It's easy to say what you would have done yeah. and what you wouldn't have done until you're standing in that position where you got 15 minutes to catch a flight. Right, you're you know, on a business yeah. trip. You got somewhere to be. The the to make a bad situation worse, it, it wouldn't have been the right move in the long haul to cause a scene. You get kicked off the flight. Yeah, I understand it's with those guys in their position having to be militant because they're trying to protect a situation. And that's fine. Okay, I get it. But to straight up have an air of importance about yourself because of it and just being a total jerk to everybody, I mean, you can be militant. You can take care of the situation. You can be thorough without being an asshole. Okay? And, you know, and, and I I was listening to – um the culture of clouds podcast and they were talking about their trip they just took overseas and i mean i experienced the same thing they were talking about the american airports are the only airports that people just have that that the tsa and everything they just have that attitude that's just it's kind of embarrassing like people coming into this country that have to deal with these people makes me want to be like you, you like first right off the bat you're just setting a terrible tone for people f- people's first impressions of americans you would think like we it. should be more evolved than that you know what yeah. I mean? you know and, and the tsa they you know they they've made it to almost to the point where you're afraid of them and they're there to protect you i'm extremely uncomfortable yeah. around them like i'm nervous yeah. the whole time i go through airport exactly. checkpoints. and you're not even doing anything wrong and exactly. they make you feel like you're inconveniencing them for them to do their job that they get paid pretty well to do it's like i don't know i don't and it's it. it's known i can be a real asshole i can be very <laughs> outspoken i can i can it doesn't phase me one bit to be that I did not come off in that way at all to tsa guys and i'm gonna be 100 honest with everybody watching and all the panel here I was practically begging yeah. the guy at that point. I was at his mercy 110%. Like, like bro, have a heart. Come, like, come yes, on. Man. Please, like, dude, yeah. please understand that I have to have this. And yeah. they're like, they didn't give up two shits, you know? And I did want to, trust me, it crossed my mind to just, you know, 
grab him by his little pinned up collar and, you know, give him a piece right. of my mind. But I have to think reasonable, you know, like you can't do that. What you don't what, like probably what happened was that that guy is miserable and hates his life and his crusty ass baby mama didn't give him any booty. So <laughs> he was, was going to take something out on somebody that day, probably. And you just happened yeah. to be that guy. It's a shame that the supervisor wasn't there to. Well, oh, he was the supervisor was there, but the supervisor right. just his exact words were, "I'm standing by my agents." Right, decision. exactly. When when the, the the right policy move for them, customer service wise, would have been like, "Okay, we made an error in judgment. We apologize. You know, understand our position, and moved on with it." You know what I mean? You had a clear uh, ex- explanation of why you had it, what it was. There was nothing shady going on at that point. It should have been okay. He, he abided by our policy. Um, it says there's a kicker. They went through my whole fucking bag. Yeah, it's that's. This was in a pair of shorts. Yeah, the guy. When I got home, it, it was still in my pair of shorts. I'd be willing to bet that that dude is one of those. Uh, well, on the contrary, as he's putting something into his pocket protector. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have been really pissed. I would have understood if they just took the batteries. Yeah. If they just took the batteries, like that's why I don't take lipo mods with me on trips. I just don't want to deal with it. I want to make sure all right. the batteries are separate and everything, and I don't accidentally put the the mod in checked baggage or something. But I, I always make sure the batteries are in my backpack, and then you know, if any extra gear I put in my checked bag. But I would understand if they took the batteries and trashed them as long as everything else was still there. That would be understandable. However. On a lighter note, now that Joel's gone, no, uh, we'll, we'll I just want him... to grab something. I know, I know, but we'll let you cool my off. My gimbal, my camera gimbal. Yeah, it has a lipo battery inside of it. Mm-hmm. Yep. This was able to go no problem. What is different about this than this? That the guy probably knows which is what and doesn't know the other one. Is probably... oh, dude, the my gimbal is what gave me the hardest time going to vape expo uk yeah because i had it in a pelican case and they didn't like it looked like a gun case for one yep so everybody was giving me weird looks the whole time carrying it through the the airport but then like going through the scan and everything they were like what is this like opening it up i had to explain to everybody that looked at it what the hell it was i, I just didn't told have them to it's camera the stuff and they go oh okay uh I, can i just chime in here yeah. yes please um so a couple of things I've flown tons of times, you know, domestic and international and uh, flying home is always weird because you don't have to take your shoes off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like America, you got to take your shoes off. You got to take your belt off everything flying home from like England. It was just like, go on through the metal detector. All right, you're good. And it was like nothing. And but I always get my bag searched every time. It never fails. And they never give two shits about my vape gear. They always like look at my cameras and they go, Ooh, what's this? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just like, you know what it is? It's a fucking camera. Sorry. Did they make you take the stuff. lenses off. No, I'll do yeah, you. they take the lens off. They take yeah. the lens off and make because... sure you didn't shove anything down inside the body. And yep, yep. They sniffed and then, my like... bag for explosive like residue. yeah they they wipe the little thing on there and they put put it through the machine all that thing but they never care about my my vape gear which is always so funny to me because i've seen so much of it already that they, they know what it is now yeah, it's, it's yeah and not a matter of not being exposed to it anymore joel you didn't lose yes. your dull dime though did you i did not take my dull dime with me okay. and um, michelle, michelle lynn has been freaking out about that so <laughs> since- <laughs> i wanted to take it because the dull dime mod in which i have is the vegas artwork on it i wanted to take pictures of it in vegas and now this is crazy that the luna and a prototype that is sitting on top of the luna i accidentally left in my wife's truck when she dropped me off at the airport if you don't talk about this circumstantial as hell and whenever i got back my wife told me she said ain't you glad you didn't take this i was like yes these are valuable to me but please understand too so were the two prototypes that i was bringing back like i really really i'll get other prototypes i know i would they've already said yes no problem we'll send more out to you but i was expecting to have those you know and the fact again what if somebody gets those fall into the wrong damn hands you know of somebody who is knowledgeable and something well man we haven't seen this yet this is innovative you know and i mean i could be screwed 
business relations wise. I mean, I let them know immediately that, look, I lost these at the airport. Well, and who's to say that the guy that was the TSA agent is some, isn't some low life that low key vapor that wanted to take your shit out of the trash can. Yep. I've heard that more than once. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. People have to say that that all through chat too. I mean, like it's, yeah, you never know. So advice if you're traveling for vaping, carry minimal. I carry very minimal with me as well, but I was coming back with things. I mean, that was the whole reason of going to Vegas was to make these meetings to see these products and come back with them. After what you've just been through, if I go and if I fly with vape gear from now on, if I'm taking anything valuable, I'm going to mail it direct to the hotel and mail it back home. I'm just done. That's probably a very good idea right there. One thing also, do not check your batteries, right? Check luggage. Don't check your batteries because you cannot do that. They do not allow batteries and check luggage. I'm ready to take in your any vape gear. I mean, like I've put like build kits and stuff in there. That's fine. Build kits, wire, whatever. Like that's, that's cool to put in your check luggage, but like, when it comes to you know like your you know stuff like that like batteries do not do it and you're not there at that checkpoint to argue with them they just open it throw it away pitch it and you're you're that's that so i mean Um, how how much worse is it gonna get is it gonna are you like are we up for like cavity searches next i mean yeah 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 i'm sure it'll be fine i I guess i had thai food the night before (laughs) i had thai food if they want to give me let them have it i promise you (laughs) it'd have been a search to remember because yeah you're going to start getting battery spicy. cases that have, like, pill ends <laughs> on them. <laughs> but, but, right. Rounded. Stan, you did mention that, you know, you carried your gimbal in a Pelican case. That yep. makes me wonder if it's a Pelican case. But I know people who've gone hunting that are, I mean, checking firearms, you know, through. So, I mean, it's just, I don't understand how this is a threat to them. It does. It makes no sense to me, you know, and. I don't want nobody else to go through the same experience. You know, I'm not without vape gear. I did have to go buy batteries today, which really, really sucked. But yep. it is what it is, man. You know, just move forward, learn. I will keep everybody updated on the status of the complaints that are filed and how we move forward with that, you know, because I felt that they were in the wrong. And I believe if they're in the wrong, that they should. And I'm not after a financial compensation, but ultimately I expect financial compensation because. They done me wrong, you know. And we, we oh six oh nine said hard to hide a stack dreamer in. Uh, I'm not gonna say that, but uh, in your prison wallet. <laughs> <really. laughs> um, so just well, carry stuff that you'd be willing to lose, you know. Absolutely. Willing and to lose. But, <laughs> well, what are you willing to lose? Because uh, you know, I'm in Denmark right now. I flew out a couple days ago, and I was freaking out that I was gonna lose my dreamer and my warrior. So guess what I put it in? The original boxes it came from so there was no question when i was coming overseas but shit, i mean joel man i feel for you brother that's just crap yeah and i want to start oh, breaking yeah. out your uh, 18350 mods again <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> well it just, it's an unfortunate event it happened you know i learned from it that i will if you catch me flying with something it's good i'm gonna do like johnny does if i get something i'm expecting to get something i will make time to go by to the fedex or ups and ship it to myself I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. It's not worth it to me. Um, it is very disheartening and aggravating, and I hope nobody else has to go through it. But remember that when traveling, you know, like <clears throat> take what you're willing to lose because there's a possibility you may lose it. Even in 2018, with things written in paper, you know, there's policies written out to prevent this from happening, and it's still happening. Yeah. Well, even if it would suck to lose what you have, I mean, take like. I would take like my thirty dollar Wismec mod or something, you know, something that they took it too. Thank you. Right. Well, I know, but that wouldn't hurt as bad as like you know right. my freaking SQ squonker mm-hmm. or something. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah it's, it's just something to think about until right. things are a little more cooled off um, and vaping is more accepted. However, I've been trying to. I, I want to take it on a lighter note. Uh, did you guys know that Demo builds? And also, Nick Bissett does Fresh Build Friday every Friday, sometimes sure live, does. and it's hilarious. But uh, did you guys know that? Have you ever watched Nick Bissett's Daily Vape TV Fresh Build Friday? Fun fact. Before I started building, I watched Nick Bissett videos. Oh, oh yeah. snap. <laughs> so that's, oh. why, that's why your Claptons are so janky looking? Oh! Exactly. <laughs> They call me Gapomatic. 
but uh yeah dude, I, I i enjoy nick's videos i've watched them for a long time and i'm not a, i'm not a commenter but uh yeah my history is definitely there with nick so it's pretty cool to be on here with him thanks man <laughs> very cool awesome. very cool yep um vaping politician of phoenix vapor nice shouts shout outs to phoenix vapor not the channel i'm commenting from on youtube <laughs> <laughs> new channel from guys busting their butts to get content out and thanks to all of you for the work in your community well thank you very much for the donation check out phoenix vapor heck yeah 10 bucks hey so, man advertise on there that's cool so fun fun thing stan that mm -hmm. guy is the one who put that video together that he was singing at the very beginning and they took away his juice and you actually posted it and i reposted it really it's a this, this good little phoenix video, vapor yep. guy Yep, that's the vapor guy. Oh, very cool, very cool. Well, it's nice to put nice to put a name with it now. While we're giving shout outs, man, I do want to give a quick shout out to Omboy OC. He was thinking that I was landing in Vegas and was like, dude, what do you need? I got you. Juice, batteries, mod, whatever. You know, like he seen my Facebook post and it wasn't up two seconds and he's replying back, like, whatever you need, man, I got you. You know, just hit me up. You got the number. And I'm explaining to him, no, dude, I'm flying out. And many of people offered afterwards, dude, you should have hollered at me. I could have I could have mailed it to you, could have mailed it to you. Just a matter of time. It was just time constraint, guys. So thank you, own boy OC, man. Dwayne, you're a hell of a dude. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Guys, everybody's asking, and I've been asked this many times over, where can they buy the Warrior at right now? Who do you know of that has this in stock and is shipping now? The the only place now is Watofo.com. Um, they have been adding uh, small batches and selling out pretty quickly uh, on their website, Watofo.com. Um, I do know I had confirmed last night that uh, Vapor DNA has per, uh, purchased a very, very large order, um, and they will be over there. Uh, what I'm told is sometime next week. I don't have an exact date. element vapes is on that list as well, but they do not have them as of yet. I spoke with them in Vegas. They did confirm that they have some coming as well. well uh, they actually came to look at it in person. They wanted to see it up close and in their hands and get a good exact. Well, Joel, go. been, Joel's been a great salesman for the warrior the whole time. And uh, <laughs> he has inside knowledge on where it's going that we don't know. So thank you, Joel. <laughs> yes, exactly. I will tell you this. I'm not going to give away the review, but for a thirty dollar RDA, um, if you're gonna, if it's one that you're thinking about pre-ordering or whatever, I wouldn't think too hard about it. Um, Thanks, that that's a good segue. You, you the people asking about uh, where you can buy the RDA right now and everything. I I've saw a, a question. Of, I've got a bunch of questions written down. Cool. Here. Let me ask this one, then we'll go to Demo. Demo can run the yeah. question segment. Um, <laughs> Schweinsteiger Wolf, oh, damn it! Oh. Schweinsteiger Wolfish Legal Stein House in Burgerdorf asks, <laughs> "What was the <laughs> dude? I love. I have to say that guy's name every week." Um, he asked, "What was the inspiration to the Warrior?" And I'm going to add to that, "What were you trying to achieve with the Warrior? What was everybody's got got like a point they want to reach? Like, what were you trying to get at with the Warrior? What did you want to be able to achieve with it?" Yeah, and can I add to that too, just real quick. So we're gonna kill all these questions in one stone, real quick. Why twenty five and why short? <laughs> Johnny, come on, man. Uh, you guys right. go, on, go at this one. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll take it for a second here. If if I'm talking too much, just tell me to shut up. You're talking shut too up. much, shut up. and I'll keep going. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, uh, we we obviously were influenced highly by uh, the current builder RDAs that were on the market that uh, were pretty much staples, um, like the Goon, the Twisted Messes 24, Sub-Zero X, the Goon LP. Uh, we, we liked all of those things uh, for different reasons. And um, one thing I, I want to say is uh, I've the, the feedback for the Warrior has been amazing, more than we could have ever asked, uh, especially at the point where people don't have it at their, in their hands yet. Um, but... What, what I'm getting at is some people have made the, they've compared it to things that are in the past and they've also said that it lacks innovation. Um, and I wanted to touch on innovation. Innovation is awesome, especially in this industry where there is a new product every single day, if not more than every single day. Um, the only problem with innovation is that if it's not good innovation, then who gives a shit? Um, 
You know, uh, pe- people, people are always like, well, that looks like this and this looks like that without looking deep into the functionality of why it looks similar. But if there's something that you know that exists and you can improve upon that, why wouldn't you do it? I mean, it, not me everything you. has to be revolutionary to make it good. Let me tell you about uh, something about innovation. Being the guy that's put things on the market that everybody goes, what the hell? Okay. Mm-hmm. People say they want innovation and I am the guy that's like, I want innovation. I want to change things or whatever, but I do it with an understanding that the same people that say they want innovation also look at things really scared. Yep. Yep. The second it comes out or the second something different or crazy comes out, they go, Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, that's it's too, too, it's too, that looks too complicated, yeah. you know? So sorry. I just so, had to make that point on yeah, that. No. I, and I appreciate that. You're, you're, you know, building up to my point here is, uh, we wanted to take what was already existing on the builder RDA market, um, but kind of implement things that have come along over the past year, let uh, past two years even, because a lot of those builder RDAs like the Goon and the, the Twisted Messes, they've been updated along the way, but they haven't really been changed, if that makes sense. Um, and I love both of those RDAs. I'm not knocking them at all, but uh, we thought we could do it, it better and that's for the people to judge in the end. We feel like we have, um, but we wanted something that was 25 millimeter. Um, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why we wanted 25 millimeter, because it fits on all the current tube mechs, which nice. all three of us are uh, tube mech guys. We, we love them. Uh, you know, we're obviously hobbyists uh and we're builders so it kind of all plays in i was so um, happy that it was 25 millimeters yeah it, and, it, and that's <laughs> why we did it yeah it <laughs> looks I, literally like it was made for the dreamer which might not be a coincidence if if i'm being honest um but we, we wanted something 25 millimeter now there are other 25 millimeter rdas on the market there's quite a few and they're more and more every day but in my opinion one thing that you lack on a 25 millimeter is flavor. Um, some of them have okay or slightly above okay flavor. Um, but I think because of the chamber size on most of them and then being a standard height RDA, uh, comparing a 25 to a 24, the chamber is much bigger, even though there's, it's only one millimeter that you're increasing it. So we wanted to figure out how we could make the biggest build deck of a 25 millimeter that's on the market but also make it have flavor of a 24, if not better. Um, And I think we were able to do that by doing a couple things. Um, We we really fought for space in this RDA. Uh, We we made the post uh, basically by uh, taking the intrusion of the screws out of a clamp system and making them access from the top as opposed to through this uh, clamp system. Uh, that, that made it possible to put enormous builds, um, guys, the, the post system, each post hole measures almost five millimeters in width. So the the functionality of putting a tiny little five wrap round wire or putting literally the biggest build that you can think of in there is possible and functional. Um, but we, what we did was we compressed the chamber down. We made it a short RDA. We also put a very thick top cap on there to help bring that chamber down even more. We made the AFC ring as thick as possible without making, not making it too intrusive to touch your coils. Um, and it really, it's the height. Um, and, and Travis, I'm just talking a lot. So why don't, why don't you chime in too? Cause you did have a lot to do with the design of the RDA as well. Yeah, so so the post. I want to I want to say this at Black Cat White Face Scott. He's one of our team members. He just did a first look at it, and he did a really good job doing a comparison with the with another RDA, and having five millimeters width in the post, a single post. You know, our goal was to make big big coils, so you could do like, you know, um, staples and um, staggers, Fralians, yeah. yeah and not have screws getting in the way. And that was a big point and bring it in as tight as possible. And I know that there might be some issues with very, very small, small coils, but what we have here, the reason why we did it is to improve on 
some of the other designs on the past and also improve on some of the frustrations we've had with other RDAs in the past. And that really um, brought together this combination of thought and ingenuity that just sparked. And the, the reason we wanted to do this was get it out on the market so builders could have it. But at the same time, we didn't want it only for builders. We also wanted it for intermediate vapors that could build on it, understand how it works, and make it easy to do. You can, you can basically build a 13 millimeter wide coil on our deck. That thing's huge. Yeah. And you can go all the way down to five. Yeah. So the Warrior was started with a passion and a dream to change some things that were frustrating some builders in the market. Yeah. Very cool. Cool. Whenever I, y'all say for builders in the market and has really hard time fitting small coils in it. Were you guys not afraid that you would lose that beginner vapors market? You know, because that is something that myself, I value, I put a lot, a lot of emphasis in to not forget the beginning vapor because yeah. everybody starts somewhere. Yeah. You know, Was that yeah. something that y'all had discussed and just like, hey, guys, you know, in doing this, we're going to be missing out on this part of the market. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's taken it to a little bit of an extreme. I mean, I, I'm not a high wattage vapor myself. I, I, I normally vape when I'm vaping, you know, throughout the course of the day, maybe a, um, a three core 28 gauge alien or, you know, dual coil or single coil or like a dual 28 gauge fuse clapped in something like that, or even like a 22 gauge round wire build. And I haven't had any issues fitting them in the, uh, in the clamps. I mean, that was one of the things we, we didn't want to do was alienate that beginner to intermediate level vapor. The guy who's looking to, to experiment with rebuildables and wants a better experience than what he's getting with say a sub ohm tank or if he's starting to dabble with with some entry level rebuildables and wants something a little bit better quality and uh something that just feels better to use and is going to leave him room to grow as he you know as, as he progresses on his vape journey and he wants to maybe he wants to get into some bigger builds or more complex builds or decides to vape at a higher wattage as he goes he has that option you know the, that vapor has that option yeah. um and i would only think honestly i haven't tried like 28 gauge or 26 gauge i've only really tried 22 or 24 and i haven't really had too many problems as long as you set it up properly it, it accommodated it without an issue and you tighten it down properly yeah mike has a really good picture of a build that he did on uh, instagram and it shows a smaller build and to be honest with you some of the um some of the rdas out there right now that are for beginner builders as well as advanced builders you have to, yeah there you go see stand right there you it's still just, have to spread those leads out fuse clapton, but just you don't. basic what it's just a basic six wrap fuse clapton yep. yep yeah so you might have to spread the wraps out a little bit but you can do small builds on it yeah and another point i wanted to make um is you know it, it really depends on your definition of what experience level you're at in your vaping journey um a beginner builder to me is somebody that's buying like a pod system or a sub M tank, or, you know, if you're getting into rebuildables, uh, you're stepping into that realm of what I would consider intermediate. Yep. Um, if you're on the lower end, one of the features that we implemented on our RDA that other people haven't done in the past, at least from what I've seen is, you know, there are clamp systems out there that exist that have bevel bevels on the edges to help insert your leads into the RDA. Um, but nobody that I have seen get bevels on the clamps and the post itself. Um, you can literally take the RDA and you can take a screwdriver or your ceramic tweezers or your coil leads and just jab it, just jab it and just jab it and just jab it. And every single time the, the clamps just go boop, boop, boop and pop up every single time. I actually um, tested it with some tweezers <laughs> and it and it works i mean you know we didn't we didn't reinvent the wheel but we greased it you know um and and we're proud of it and that that's why we're talking so passionately about it is because we we know that the warrior uh not everybody is going to be happy with it because you can't please everyone but we wanted it to be something to where the the experienced builder loves it and buy several of them. But we also wanted it to be that if somebody says at their local vape shop, hey, I've never bought an RDA. That looks pretty cool. It's got some pretty colors on the deck. 
I'll buy that one and then still be able to get a good vape experience from it. Right. You know, at the same time, I, I do want to say with this RDA, it is for an intermediate vapor. It should not be for a beginner vapor because if a beginner vapor are, if they're wrapping coils and don't understand Ohm's laws, it makes it a dangerous device. Yep. So, and that's across the board. And we are not looking at the pod system or the beginner market for this. And that's why we're, we're not really alienating Joe, but what we are doing is being real about this, knowing that it is for a specific market, intermediate to advanced, because nobody who doesn't understand building should build on an RDA in my opinion. Yep. That's a good point. That's a good point. We actually talk about that a lot on this show. Um, let's do a quick fire question and answer segment. Yeah. Demo yeah. said you had a yeah. lot of questions and Nick, I don't know if you've seen anything that maybe Demo didn't see. You want to throw them in there too. Uh, you, Nick's been kind of quiet got, tonight. I think I thought he caught him sleeping there for here. a minute. Uh, yeah. say what Demo? Go ahead. I've got six questions here. So, so all right. Fire away. <laughs> Bring it. All right. So let's see here. We already answered that one. Um, okay, so this is more of a building question for everyone here who builds. Um, what company's wire do you guys use? Same question for me, Demo Vapes. I use uh, Kidney Puncher mostly. Kidney Puncher also here. Kidney Puncher as well. Exclusively. Yep. I, use kidney, I use Kidney Puncher and Coil Society. Yep. If Kidney I had an alternative, it would be Coil Society or uh, 270 wires because I do want to tr start trying to use Nichrome 90. The only thing, though, is that Kidney Puncher's wire is much shinier than Coil Society. I, I did some oh, fused yeah. platins in Coil <laughs> Society, and they did not look nearly as good as the Kidney Puncher. Anyway, what about you, Nick? I, I'm sponsored by Twisted Messes and Anarchist Wire, so oh, them. There you go. <laughs> well, look at you, fancy. <laughs> in 90 is fancy freaking fun stuff to play with, man. It I'm assuming all you guys are N80 so guys fast. for the most part. Yes. Um, lately, I've been more into stainless steel. Really? Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah. I've been getting into stainless a lot lately also. Yeah. I've been using stainless ribbon for builds here. And Definitely there. colors up nicer. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I like stainless for coloring, but for vaping, I like N N80. I mean, it, I, I've been really, really, for the past year, focusing more on uh, mechanical builds and, you know, building coil setups to the atomizer that uh, me and Demo were having a brief conversation about this before the show started. But uh, one of the, the challenges that I like is finding what builds work the best in an RDA for my vaping style. Yep. And uh, that to me, may, it may sound nerdy, but I like trying different gauge wires, different wraps, different styles uh, in order to get the best, best possible vape experience for myself. Um, so lately for me, it's been stainless steel, 9.9 uh, .9 times out of 10, it's some form of an alien or a fralian. Yep. And uh, for me, I, I like my builds hot. So I won't tell anybody in the, this uh, show what I vape at because it, it's not pertinent, but uh, it's hot. So <laughs> thank uh, you very like much. Lava spitting in your face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Travis <laughs> likes to like vape like, huge six and seven wrap builds that, you know, take 12 years to ramp up. And yes, I like, I like point or a 2.5 ohms. It's rocking. That's yeah. the beauty of it. Everybody has their thing, you know, everybody yeah. likes them. We're bringing back way. a lot of the smaller, uh, the, the, I guess the drippers that were popular maybe four or five, three, four years ago when, uh, <laughs> it was more of a restricted draw 30, 40, 50 Watts, you know, like a origin V2 or a Quasar RDA. That explains why he likes the reverie so much. I've seen some pretty killer reverie pictures coming out of that or the guard. check you sent him. Well, yeah. you know, let's not talk about that. Nathan Brunswick, <laughs> thank you very much for the $5. I'll be adding that to a uh, builder guards check. Um, <laughs> what's the next question, Timo? Excuse me. Um, oh, that you answered that question too. Um, okay. And uh, this is another building question. Uh, vaping with Ken. Question for the panel. If you live in a place that has thin walls where using a drill is not an option, um, do you have any alternative suggestions for building? Uh, Tell my neighbors to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the good ones actually is it's really slow, but the drill that comes with the Daedalus yeah. is uh, actually not bad. It's, it looks, I've got it actually right here. You it's just this reminded little guy, me. Right? Yeah. It runs off of two 18650s. 
and it's at you know even at its top end oh well, this is definitely give us a demo demo just sounds like a vibrator yeah it doesn't <laughs> sound that loud <laughs> right back how many rpms has it been at uh two it's variable it's variable it, you can spin yeah, it pretty there's, fast there's a wheel on the side of it yeah yeah i've seen it i, I haven't really spent any time with it how uh it's what's not the, amazing highest, what's the highest speed 2000 is that what travis said no 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 like no, 800 i was joking <laughs> Oh, it's it's pretty. It's fairly slow. Then I got yeah, you. Yeah, it's like it, this thing is like 800 RPM, but so it's yeah. it's definitely slow, but it's faster than using a Fisker's hand drill. Oh, for sure. Or for sure. Uh, like some sort of you know manual method. Right, crazy MacGyver Good type. For stagger. Right. I actually have a friend yeah, that probably. takes a pencil, and he takes his cores. He makes twisted wire this way. He takes his cores mm -hmm. and he tapes them to the pencil, and then he rolls them on his pants, holding the other end. He just rolls the pencil down his pants, and that's how he gets his twisted wire. And uh, hashtag made with pants. So there you go, Ken. You can try that one. <laughs> What's the yeah, next so, question? Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, I'm not quite on. Not quite super on tonight. Nice uh, lightning uh, round, Demo. <laughs> Schweinsteiger <laughs> Wolfeschlegel Steinhausen Bergedorf. Um, where is Mike's cap? Where's Mike's <laughs> <We're all wearing> cap? <laughs> <laughs> Mike's showing off that fresh cuts. cuts. That's Kool Aid, Joel. <laughs> Night caps. Night caps. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Notice he's the center. It's like a planet, and all the caps are rotating around him. Yeah. <laughs> here's here's kind of a, an intense question. Vaping Joe, do you think that the Warrior will still be relevant in a year or longer? Um, it's it's hard to say. Obviously, my first answer is going to be uh, hell yeah. I hope so. Uh, right. But w with the way that the market is moving these days, I feel like even if something is great, uh, which I'm guilty of it myself, with the amount of stuff coming out and my constant, oh, my God, oh, look at that. I got to have it. Um, it's not like it was two, three years ago where you got a hold of something good and it might have taken a year for you to find something that you wanted to buy. Now, I, 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 you know, I have a vape budget that I blow every single month. Yeah, so, the price points vaping's come down to has definitely uh, played a role there, John. W will it be relevant in a year from now? I would say so. Yep, we all hope so. I mean, yeah, that's the hope, right? We yeah, that's the we goal. got our in yeah we got our inspiration from like very classic, well known RDAs, and that's where we're coming from. Yeah. So, so I'm going to ask a question that I know a lot of people are, you've already said you, you know you took inspiration from many devices out there. You know, paid homage to you know what the market niche and norm was do you feel you've beat some of the same ones that you were inspired by or influenced by building this to the punch on the 25 millimeter diameter for mm -hmm. example i'm going to say it because nobody else is going to say it because they're going to want to be politically correct and not piss nobody off you, but i'm going to say it the goon 25 uh, okay. everybody knows <laughs> goon 25 do you, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys uh, feel as if you beat them to the punch on that? If you don't know, now you know. I, I've been trying to avoid this question, but I, I knew that, that Joel was going to ask it. Um, we had a plan, and Joel might have had a little bit of an I, uh, a little bit of say in this plan, which it didn't turn out, but we wanted to release the Warrior on 528. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, Unfortunately, that didn't happen because of manufacturing reasons. It couldn't happen, uh, but that was that was the intention. Um, do do we think that we're better? Um, Not I mean, better, but beat them to the punch because the rumor is that the Goon Twenty Five has been in development that is coming, that it's going to it's it's coming out. You know, do you feel as if you've beat them to that? Well, I was excited for the Monster V Four to come out for two years, and it never came out. <laughs> so you took that and said, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. And I mean, this is a now industry. Yeah. It is. You know, I you, the idea, you got to go for it and you got to believe the hell out of it that it's going to be great. And uh, do I think it's better than some of the RDAs that we named earlier? Hell yeah, dude. Because if I didn't think so, we wouldn't have freaking made the thing. That's my yeah. opinion. But I'm yeah. biased. It, we designed it. So... Well, yeah, I'm and yes, guys, full I'm, clarity. Me and Johnny are cool people. Travis is a good dude. Mike, I've tried it with him a couple of times before, and it's well not like Wodafo. Big fan of theirs. But, you know, they're family to me. But 
it doesn't do it ain't gonna hinder my questioning or the what needs to be said or brought up you know i'm gonna be unbiased always and mm -hmm. Johnny and guys, there's no disrespect when I say, hey, do you feel as if you're leaving that niche out for the beginners? I'm asking those questions for the viewers that are out there that are maybe not getting that question right. asked or may get over to that question. I know they're out there. There's somebody out there that gives them some reference material to go back to at some point in time. Well, I thought I you were going to put another RDA that. in that place yeah. when you asked that. Say again? I thought you were going to put another is. RDA in that oh, place sorry. when you asked that. Sorry, Johnny. I didn't mean it. The what no. RDA? Nothing. Go ahead, Johnny. Say it again. No, say it again. Now, don't go to mumble voice yeah, now. I thought say you were talking about 25s. I didn't know. I thought the Goon 1.5 was a 24. I mean, it, it is. Wasn't. Yeah, it is. you said Goon 25. I thought you were going to say, when you said 25 millimeter RDA, I thought you were going to say the Lucid just to sh give me shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Goon, I, lo I like the Warrior much much better than the Goon 1.5. I'll say it. So has uh, anybody uh, put a vertical build in the... Uh, <laughs> The uh, warrior? Any uh, vertical build yet? I have not. Uh, you can do it. It would be a little bit difficult. It's the not. Challenges out there. Let me know when you accept it. I'll take all pictures via my inbox on Instagram at Mister Just Right One or on Facebook Joel Robinson. It'd be pretty. I mean, if you're challenging me to do it, I'll do it. Is that a, vertic a vertical build? Is that is that what you asked, Joel? Yeah, yes. you can do it. Yeah, you can definitely do it. I don't it's not know how that It's not going to be. You got to loose it next to it. Let me know what you think. <laughs> it's not going to be like the rubber where you drop the coil in and you tighten the leads and it's done. But Yeah, and the electric chair. Yeah. <laughs> the electric chair. <laughs> Love that thing, man. It looks awesome. It's yeah. easy to build on. Hey, yeah. uh, uh, right. Johnny, why don't you read the monochrome with Domino? Thank you very much for the $6.66. He's asked this a couple times and donated it a couple times. So, uh, Johnny, why don't you read that question for me? Um, I don't see it popped up. Uh, scroll, scroll up a little bit. Scroll up. It's green. It's a green. Okay. Oh, okay. I've seen this question and I've laughed every time. If you inhaled a fweef, would it be MTL or direct lung? Trick question. It's direct nose or get the fuck out. <laughs> Duh. Weave in all day, son. Straight through the nose. I'm getting to you, vape politician of vape Phoenix Vapor. Go ahead, Emo. There. All yep. right. Okay. There's one question before you. So just mm -hmm. hold on. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Um, this was a question from Chris A, I believe. Chris A asks, uh, do any of you builders battle with ADHD and how do you cope and find focus during building? I have ADHD. I, I actually do too. <laughs> I have ADHD. Like um, full on diagnosed. Like I take medicine for it. Um, I, I, choose nat I do a little natural medication that, that, that helps me best. Okay. I didn't. I don't have ADHD because my dad had a belt. And anytime I started getting out of line, he tuned my ass up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of those. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't have ADHD. I, I'm just a very go 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 kind of person. It's my my personality, and it reflects my job and uh, my passion for vaping. But uh, <clears throat> the things that I do to help with a uh, ADHD ish type symptoms is I, I go to the gym. Uh, as often as possible, and I, I build coils, and it helps slow me down. So yeah, I I get hyper focused, and everything around me just kind of blends out, and it's not always great because my wife comes in the room, and then I'm not listening to her, and then I get hit. So <laughs> <laughs> I forgot yeah. I mentioned it earlier, but you de you definitely kind of go to a place of meditation when you're uh you know you're deep into a build, whether you're prepping it or you know you're fusing it up. Yeah. It's I'm the same way. Like, I, I have keep your hands steady and just. Yep, I have yep. no problems with uh, with with concentrating during building Me myself. Mangled meditation <clears throat> said building is the focus. Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, I, have I have an ADHD remedy syndrome. as well. I'd like to share, and it's called my wife. <laughs> you don't really want to share her. We don't want to go there again this week. So, you know, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man, it's, it's <laughs> he'll, show, he'll share her, but that special cabinet uh, he won't share, the, the cabinet that holds uh, his other collection. <laughs> All right. Vaping politician of Phoenix. Vaping. I let her drown, hell. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks right. in a row. Vaping I'm politician sure. of Phoenix. <laughs> At Builder Guard Travis, and this is, I guess, for the whole panel. Um, yep. What was the biggest disagreement between the crew designing the Warrior? Yeah, I saw that. Ooh. 
Oh, daily. I see oh. you comment. Huh? <laughs> Was it the motto? Uh, the, their their initial slogan, Trev. I don't know if you want to uh, <laughs> go there. I don't know. <laughs> yes. So, they, when when they were uh, finishing up the warrior, they brought out the slogan that they threw out there and they were going to use. And the slogan was chubby, but funky. <laughs> and we, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. And we were like, that's really oh, what, what our vision was. No, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Oh, chubby, but funky. I can I use that later on? Um, <laughs> I'm going to use that in the bedroom. I won't, I, I won't go into detail about <laughs> the, yeah, you know, the inspiration. <laughs> Uh, oh, please, please, Johnny, please hashtag, go into wait, 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 wait. Uh, hashtag, no. hashtag, hashtag we here. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Yeah. We have a friend. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I won't go into uh, to, to put the business out there of the person that would, had come up with that. Photo, yeah. But if you knew this person, you would say, oh, okay. Yeah. I, get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, also, think, they were trying to incorporate something about uh, warrior, trying to find your dreams. Um, so there, there's a little bit of a, uh, a difference between China cultural, and America yeah. uh, culturally, and uh, that that shined through very brightly uh, at the end of this uh, process. So, what, um, what they yeah. think is cool over there is, is definitely different than what we would consider cool or, or <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't yeah. know what the right word for it is. You wanted the advertising to be like masculine and, you know, warrior. I mean, you think warrior, you think like Spartan, you think like U.S. military, you think like, you know, aggressive and, you know, chubby. I thought Zena chubby the warrior princess. So what's the that? Warrior. I was thinking Zena the warrior princess. Yeah, well. I mean, I'd, I'd be down with that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she is not chubby and funky. As long as she brought her friend with her. What's her name? You can call your single quail that the warrior princess. She can swing my sword all day long. No, I, I so, like how I like how Johnny says you wanted it to be masculine and he he's rocking a rainbow warrior on Oh my... yes, I <laughs> is rainbow not masculine? Hey, you yeah. know what? It's it's, it's it can be masculine. Hey, Johnny doesn't discriminate. However, that's for sure. Stan. I I am embraced in uh everybody's uh preferences and I am very secure with myself. So Purple is my favorite color. So, uh, ling, I think ling. Demo Daily That's posted beautiful. a question in the chat. Go ahead and ask that because I'm ready to answer that. Way you don't see up there, isn't it? Way up there? No, no, no. Oh shit, I've lost it. Oh no, I lost it too now. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, question for the panel, especially Mr. At, at Mr. Vaping with just. Right, just fuck it off why don't you <laughs> demo <laughs> just to screw it up anyway which rda is worse the fda rda hashtag flavorless or the tsa rda disappearing <laughs> wow <laughs> you guys don't I know, have, you know joel has a special if the fda idea. rda would have disappeared i went in and gave two flips about it <laughs> <laughs> that's just right <laughs> that's one you that's one you still have huh yes it is <laughs> nice all right. Demo, so, what is that? y'all's worst RDA? What's the worst RDA you guys used, Johnny? The worst RDA I've ever and used. And then Mike, and then Travis, because I think yeah. we've already answered this question before. So, we want to know what y'all have to say. Ah, uh, it's a tough one. See, it, I, I'm pretty good and particular about what I buy. Um, so, in that case, the I, I don't, I don't know. The, go, the ghost inhale. The ghost inhale. I think was, really kind of a turd myself but i think that's where they were like you know how how can we change something just to say we changed it when you put a screw in the bottom of the deck to raise a clamp up it's just like i don't i didn't get it i don't know that was one bad purchase but in my opinion but mike has vape shops so this would be a very interesting question for yeah, him. yeah i i probably and, and not to necessarily uh bash any company in particular but you know every company strikes out and hits its home run its home runs there's just you know no two ways about it when i got the i was pretty disappointed with the with tofo uh freak show mini that was one of the lesser not not to bash our manufacturer definitely not going there but i really wasn't a fan of the freak show mini um the uh, 
some of the earlier stuff, a lot of the stuff now is pretty good. I mean, I, for the most part, if you say, if you throw down 40 bucks or 30 or 40 bucks on an RDA now, you get pretty decent quality, you know, going back three or four years with some of the early IGO RDAs. And uh, I mean, even some of the Filipino stuff, it, for where it was priced at, it, it, you definitely weren't getting, at least into, you know, to what today's market, you weren't getting the, the quality or the bang for the buck that vapors can get now. They were, you know, the RDAs were a lot more specialized. If you didn't build them properly or very specifically, you didn't get a good vape experience out of them. So it's tough to to, to say good or bad. You know, at, at the time, I felt like it was a bad experience. But with the, you know, with the general vape knowledge I have now going back, I can probably make those work a lot better than I did at the time I gave them, a you know, a real try. Did that scare you when he said, hey, we got waterfalls going to do it and you had the bad experience with the freak show many? Not, not, not at all, because I've had good experiences with with, a, with numerous products of theirs. So I was, you know, I was I was psyched. Tofo is a right great there? company. You know what I mean? They're one of the good bang for the buck Chinese manufacturers, for sure. For sure. Do you get, OK, so Travis, go ahead and answer that question as well. And I'll backdoor it with another one. So RDAs, I'm very picky with my RDAs. I don't buy an RDA that I don't feel I'm going to like. What my issue was RTAs and oh man, when the Griffin 25 came out, I was so excited about it. Then I build on it and it was horrible. That was, that was my big one. My, my RDAs, just like I said, I'm very fussy with them. The only one that I can say that I wasn't really impressed with was the, um, was the geek vape um, tsunami. And I got the tsunami and it had the vertical post style, you know, builds, and that was great. But I was explaining, I was kind of expecting like Kennedy flavor, and it was just not there. And I wasn't really impressed with it at all. Interesting. Very interesting. So uh, the backdoor question to that was going to be damn it. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually no uh, one of the I'm a Chinese guys sent me a message. When we're talking about Chinese, so I was giving a minute. Uh, what was the question? It was the freak show where you're afraid of dealing with waterfall after the fact. Uh, oh, how do you guys feel being that it is waterfall and the good track record in which they've been able to maintain the latter part of 17 moving into 18 this year? I mean, it is no secret. I mean that they are really knocking them out of the park. So. Yeah. How does well, it feel to be amongst them people like the Mike Vapes and curve. yes, those guys? Like, I mean, how it's do humbling. you feel about that? It's humbling, it's humbling. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. The same breath as those guys. We're uh, we're very very happy to cooperate with them and very pleased. And um, you know, there, there's there's bumps in in every road as far as when you're going into designing something, and we definitely hit those bumps. Um, but it, it's I, I couldn't have asked for a better company to to partner with that you know. There's always a language barrier, um, and Watofo, they, they, uh, they do speak very good English, and they read and write very good English. I was very impressed with that. Um, my, the concept that uh, <coughs> I explained it to them, I had hand drawings. I'm, I'm not uh, super computer-oriented and good with CAD like, like Stan is, um, but I can draw. If I can see it in my head, I can draw it. Um, so I had some very, very detailed drawings. I handed them over to them at uh, about 11 o'clock the night that I had the meeting with them. Uh, by seven o'clock the next morning, they had a fully functioning CAD RDA uh, with functioning parts and two true size. So it was uh, that right there impressed me so much that I, I, I was happy that we were doing it with Watofo before that. But when I had that CAD drawing less than 12 hours after our meeting and it was right, I was extremely impressed. To say the yeah, least. it was awesome. <clears throat> I got another question for Johnny. Yeah. How does one go about getting that dope ass poster you have back there, man? <laughs> well, funny story about that back there. Uh, <laughs> I actually cut that out of a display that Watofo had at Showcase. <laughs> you were there, uh, Joel. Uh, and I'll give you a little little story, guys, about how not everything works uh, when you're doing a project like this. The original name for the Warrior was a Black Ops RDA. Uh, we were doing that kind of as to, to pay homage to uh, Travis being in the Marines and, and his love for the U.S. military. And uh, we appreciated Trav and his passion for that. If you didn't know he's a Marine and you talk to him, you'll know by the time you're done talking to him. <laughs> um, 
But uh, so we, we were going to go with that route and we were all pumped about it. And uh, what Tofo had kind of said, suggested, well, do you think <laughs> copyright infringement? And we're like, well, it's a term, you know, they're like, well, what about the video game? And they were very worried about the video game. And, you know, we started to tinker around with changing the name and the logo. And me and Joel show up to showcase and there's a display for the warrior before it had come out. And there is literally a call of duty black ops character standing above that RDA on the display. And I was like, Oh hell no. And I turned, I turned, pardon my French. I turned that motherfucker around real quick. Like I didn't want no parts of it. So at the end of the show, I was like, are you, what are you guys doing with this? Are you taking it back to China? Cause I certainly don't want it. And Joel's like, nah, dude, cut that part out. So I, I busted out my pocket knife. I was like, zip, 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 zip. And fold it up, put it in my bag. So it's going to be uh, not ghetto and I am going to frame it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to get it there so people can see it. That's you weren't going to tell them the story about how the Reverend Jesse Jackson showed up down there and said, look, man, y'all can't call that the Black Ops. We're not having none of that. Yeah. <laughs> why, is, <laughs> why is it always got to go there, Joel? He a nice yeah. fat envelope and he was cool with it. Yeah, yeah, he was so, good with it after this. Right to the edge. So. <laughs> I appreciate that about him. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad so, you uh, mentioned that, Johnny. I saw a bunch of uh, a bunch of people in chat asking about where the Black Ops name went. So... Yeah. Good follow up. Yeah, we're not saying it'll never happen, guys. Um, there, we do have ideas and uh, potential projects in the future. Uh, obviously, a lot of that depends on uh, how our reputation turns out from the Warrior. So we're right. hoping it does well. But uh, the Black Ops will never die. Uh, the Warrior is the Black Ops, but we, we chose to go with the, the Warrior. So, so it's 1055, and we typically do this or that question. I know we're going to yep. be short on time and go over or whatnot. But last week we asked, you know, that's a very simple question. And there's three of you here that are three very good people. You all kind of collaborated on this idea. So I'm going to ask you all the very same question we asked last weekend. If it's okay with Stan. Sure. You sure? Yeah. Ask it. Sure. Okay. Johnny. It. Damn it. You're on a boat in the middle of the damn ocean. Oh, damn it. That oh. question. <laughs> I already don't like where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Ask it. You can only <laughs> save Mike or you can only save Travis. Who do you save and why? <laughs> Well, uh, it, it, can I ask a question for this question, or do I have to answer it? You have to answer it just the way it is, and you get to give your reasoning as to why you chose who afterwards. I, I'd have to save Mike because <laughs> I, I, would have to deal, I would have to deal with Travis repeating the same freaking story for the rest of my life on that desert island slash boat. And I love Travis. I, I love, brother, I love you so much. But if, if ask Travis about what his favorite tube mech is and what his previous <laughs> RDA is to the warrior. And I can guarantee you what the answer will be, but that's my answer. Go ahead. So answer, I, it, Johnny. Yep. If you could, you're in the middle of the ocean, you're on gotcha. a raft. You can only save one person. Do you save Johnny or do you save Travis? All right. Well, I'm just going to go with this based on one thing, because if we're going to be out in the ocean, there's a possibility we could be out there for a while. We could be stranded. And since Travis definitely has a thinner, more feminine kind of a uh, <laughs> more feminine, to be to him, I'd probably go with Travis just in case we were out there for a you know Travis. extended extended period and things got real crazy. You know. Travis, also <laughs> Marine, so he has survival <laughs> training, right? Pretty much. Plus he's got the survival I will training. Gladly yeah, exactly. drown just for that comment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mr. Travis, I'm going to yes, ask sir. you the very same question. You're in the middle of an ocean. You're on a yep. boat. You can only save Mike or you can only save Johnny. Who do you save and why? Neither of them. I mean, Christ. One <laughs> wants to have sex with me, and the other one doesn't listen to, want to listen to my story. And the US-1 is a great mech mod, by the way. Oh, oh go. I've got one on the way, bro. I've got what, one what's on your the favorite way. color uh, finish going? <laughs> Black. Titanium, man. Come on. Yeah. Break out the titanium going. Oh. You're going to no, <laughs> I was thinking my titanium goon. Mm, that's going to get replaced very soon. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys for playing along with the question. I appreciate oh. it. I do. Travis, I why'd you have to spill it, man? <laughs> oh, it's already known. It's already no. known. Steve sent me the message. He said, hey, did you know this is coming in this? I said, no way. No, it just no, so no, happens no. I have a I titanium meant. goon on the way. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. Um, <laughs> okay, well, with that... 
It, since uh, you know what we're doing, it might as well do it, Demo. Let's start off though with a little, uh, a little, uh, a little sideshow here. Sideshow. Demo's dad joke of the. It's time oh, for Demo's this is dad joke this of part. the day. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> What did the triangle say to the circle? I don't know what, Demo. <laughs> You're pointless. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, that was dope. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> that one is Steel great. Steel Beast 1000 says, any chance of a black aluminum dreamer by chance? Any chance by chance? Not in the works. Not that I know of. But Not a chance uh, by chance. <laughs> however, I will give you guys this little tidbit. I was informed that the testing for black dreamers, copper coated and brass coated, has been completed. And it seems that they, it seems, I'm not giving a 100%. I just know what they told me that they tested them, they're good, and they're looking into producing them again with electroplated black, like the electroplated s- steel. So Ooh. you may very well see copper black and copper brass again in the very near future. Very interesting. Very what? Bad, neither. Yeah. Well, you know what? You would. I'm not even talking to you about that no more. Uh, Demo or Nick, whoever is in the mood for it. What's this week's this or that question for our guests? Even though we did one already, but we're gonna do a new one. I just had to know between the three of them guys. I was curious. <laughs> none of them said. Good, none of them said that they would leave their wife drowning well, in the ocean. Joel, I'm just saying. That was, that was a good one. I saw a question in chat earlier um, that we didn't talk about, and it was it was kind of like a this or that question. Uh, it was is very fitting. Uh, burgers or tacos? Oh, burgers all day. Tacos. I can attest, Johnny could not smack a burger. I seen this dude eat a burger at Wendy's this damn big. <laughs> dude, I would also go, gotta go with tacos. I think uh, food challenges are my thing. Hell yeah. Mm. Definitely on the burgers for me. I think I'm gonna go burgers too. I don't know. I'm sick of tacos. A really I, good I, burger is just like, ah, like yeah. it's, it's something so satisfying about it. But a well, really it good taco, it's like yeah, it's pretty good. You know, well, like if it's a Taco <laughs> Bell taco, then absolutely. Well, no, not. Like, so if it's cool. like a, a Southern Talking California real, taco. Yeah. Oh, that might mm, um, might change my mind actually. I don't know, man. I think I'm see. I'm thinking like In and Out, and I'm thinking like, mm. you know, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking of all of the great burgers you can get from all of the great burger places. Well, like, who whose taco are we eating? What yeah. about Travis? What, right. right. what about right. Travis? Let's, let's let's hear what Travis has to say. It's tacos, man. Come on, it's Texas. Torchies tacos all the oh, way. Oh, Torchies, my man. Yeah. dude, we're gonna we're gonna have beer and Torchies one day. You and me, Travis. Yes, definitely. Oh, sounds like a date. Some some freaking St. Arnold <laughs> or some no label or some uh, some hopadillo. Well, oh. Travis must have good tacos because Mike wanted to stay on a boat with him. So <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. There's just something about holding a big piece of meat in your hands and holding it to your mouth. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know all about that, Mike. Thanks, man. Like, Thank yeah, you very much, easy. Reese. Hips We're for the PC. <laughs> What is Can you tell that we talk every day? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you no. for the donation. He says much love, Reese Hibbs. Uh, I don't know what that what that monetary value is. No, there. I don't actually even know what A stands for. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming Australian dollars. Yeah, maybe? the the, <laughs> the, maybe? the guy who does currencies trading doesn't know what that is. Because well, <laughs> Australian symbol is AUS, right? Yes, like the AU. Australian. Or actually, no, it's sorry, it's AUD for the Australian dollar. Right. Uh, Demo, what is your this or that question this week? Oh, oh. I'm going to say tacos no, on a burger. We're, Just deal we're, with we're it. good. We're good. I think we're good. I, I'm going to say tacos as well, man, because uh, Taco Tuesdays, man. You ever seen how the yep. little string goes between the taco and oh, I know kind of folds over a little bit? And Travis, dude, my advice, man, I don't know how big of a guy you are, but I used to be, you know, 150 pounds soaking wet wearing boots. I am now like, you know, 220. 225 something like that because i got tired of being the one that put up the struggle cuddle you know or just struggle just <laughs> struggle enough but they'll you know. get to cuddle you at the end of the night yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually you know what I'm I, take 190. It I have a really good this or that right we'll do it okay would you rather experience a sharp pain in your side each time someone says your name or have a bell sound each time you are aroused 
Uh, <laughs> I want to go first. I okay. Go first. Okay. <laughs> first. I want a bell sound. Yeah, I gotta go with that. Story. Heck yeah! Ding ding ding! ding. Just one bell, just one one solid can I, ding. Can I get like an Amtrak horn? <laughs> I would go bell, and I want my bell to go dong. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I mean, I don't really want to experience a sharp pain because people say your name a lot. So, well, is demo your name? Would it count? Well, no. But I have a life outside of this. <laughs> People know me by a different name. I don't think I want mine like to say dong, though. Just a regular, like, dong. ding. Stan, you, you'd you rather have a ding than a dong? <laughs> does it, like, does it repeat? If you, if you, well, if you put it that way, maybe like, not. Is it, like, one of the bells on the table, like, ding, 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 ding? Like, <laughs> no, that's what I want. I want it to, like, I want a single ding. Like, like dinner's ready every time, like, every time. Like, yeah. top- I want ding dong. What about you guys? Who didn't go yet? Travis Travis didn't answer. Oh, it's all ding, baby. It's all ding. (laughs) It's all ding. All ding all day. (laughs) Are we still talking about the same thing? Yes. Probably not. Yes, we are. Yes, absolutely. We're almost into after show territory. I would have to say I would like the bell just because I know a lot of people do not like me and say my name a whole lot. Boy, I'd be in the hospital for every time I got... Hey, hey, you, Joel, Joel, Joel. And plus, I already get that with my son. Dad, 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 dad. Hey, dad, look at this. Dad, 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 look at this. And it gets old really fast. <laughs> no doubt. Well, there you go. That's unanimous. It's, I think it's the first time we've had a unanimous answer on Vapes, too. Hell yeah. Frank, I don't Frank know. Wolf. I don't know. I think I would have saved. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> Frank Freaking Wolf, thank you very much for the six ninety nine Canadian donation. Awesome show, everyone. By the way, I know Joel is still in the process of moving out. Please give this donation to him, please, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the you conversation get. was very interesting on the way to the airport. Let me just say that. <laughs> nice. hey, Joel, I have a question for you. Did uh, When you were going to the airport this time, as opposed to when we went together, did they drive around the airport 74 times? No, they didn't. <laughs> Honestly, this time when they went to the airport, I just caught a cab. Oh, well, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, man, because the gentleman that does the driving for a said company mm-hmm. drives like Dell Earnhardt all the time. It doesn't matter <laughs> if, it's in a zone, if it's full of speed bumps, a Walmart parking lot. Yeah. It is foot to the floor, mm-hmm. wide open all the damn time. I don't, I don't know. I've never felt really threatened being in the passenger seat, but I wanted to climb in the very, 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 very back of the damn thing. So whatever he hit, <laughs> I'd be at the back of it. So, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the time we were in showcase together, uh, Joel was leaving the day before I was, and he had to get to the airport. And we must have said, you were supposed to go there <laughs> right like, there. at least 15 times. And I don't know if you all know Atlanta, but their airport is freaking huge. So to drive around it like 15 times, it, it took probably about an hour. Oh, we were laughing our asses off in the back seat, though. <laughs> it was funny. Classic. All right, guys. So let's, I mean, heck, we're, we're pretty much out of time. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much for being here and talking to us a little bit about what's behind the Warrior, what's behind JMT Elite. Uh, you guys are awesome. We, Anytime you guys want to come back, just let us know uh, whenever, you know, um maybe you might want to get some of us on the list for that special edition action that's happening um, hey, let me just but- clarify don't put stan on the list for anything <laughs> stan is on more lists than anybody i know i i will say this travis who i also <laughs> call the repeater uh, oh god he hey well, i was a machine gunner in the marine me. corps christ there he, you go he tried and, and he went so hard to get stan added to the watofo reviewer Dude. list Hey, yeah. There was no way that it wasn't going to happen. Just so you know. He did. On, on that note, Stan, let's say I, I wanted a dreamer mod, right? Like me personally. <laughs> oh, give it up, bro. What, do you have what one? Would cost, what would that cost me? I'm just. Do you just have out one? Of, out of pure curiosity. If you don't have one, hit me up. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, man. Hey, Travis, it worked, bro. These Freaking showed awesome. up. These showed up yep. two days after the one you sent. Yep. So awesome. my patrons are. Super, super stoked on this, by the way. So wait a minute. They know they all my extras you, go to the They're going to charge people for them? <laughs> <laughs> say what? What did you say? Anyways. I'll, I'll be Joel pushing the button. 
Joel <laughs> is a special kind of dick. I said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> All right. So. Hey, man, it ain't my fault it's 13 and a half, but hey, you know. <laughs> oh, that's special. It's special. Right, <laughs> you're you're that's sure. 13 and a half. Is that what it is? 13 and a half millimeters? 13 and a half grand. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, 13 and a half hundred. That's what he's going to be paying in his new rent, in his new place when his wife kicks him out. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we can go ahead and end the show. We're a password. <laughs> we're going to wrap this one up at any time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, like I was saying, thank you very much for being here. We greatly appreciate you guys talking to us a little bit about it. I love hearing design stories and the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Um, let's start with uh, Johnny, then Mike, then Travis. Let's, let's start off with our sign offs, guys. Anything you want to say? Anybody you want to thank? Anything you want to you know promote? Go for it. I just want to thank uh, you uh, guys for having us on the show tonight. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, we're definitely pleased to be here and get to tell a little bit about our story. Um, I had a blast. I would love to come back anytime that you guys would have me. Um, I just want to thank everybody for uh, so much positive support on the warrior, uh, through Instagram. It's, it's been awesome. I've been, it's been like a part-time job answering messages and, and uh, comments. So keep them coming guys. I really appreciate it. And, um, if anybody ever needs any building advice or if you have warrior questions, anything just shoot me a message on instagram i promise you i'll get back to you uh yeah well uh why don't you uh take it away mike and do your thing uh, yeah well obviously i want to thank my other uh my other teammates johnny and uh, travis without them none of this would have been possible you know we had some ups and downs along the way but uh it all worked out in the end i feel like we came out with a uh a really product that represented our vision in the uh in an accurate way um Aside from that, you know, obviously, thanks to you guys for having us on, and uh, the other our other band of builders teammates. Yep. Uh, Good guy vapes. That's the uh, chain of shops that I uh, I'm co-owner of, and my business partner John, who uh, I wouldn't be involved in any of this if it wasn't for him. So definitely want to shout him out and thank him. Yep. Go ahead, Trev. Well, first of all, guys, vapes Stu, thank you very much for inviting us on. It's been an absolute blast. Yep. And Mike. Those up and downs, you know, you really enjoyed those things. So just stop. Uh, it's it's all part of the process, man. It's all part of the process. <laughs> um, it might just be J Elite after this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but I want to give a huge shout out to my brother's band of builders. I mean, those guys, they're like family to us. They're always there. Yep. You know, we can get on chat at any time. Uh, they have helped us through problems. Um, They've helped us through good things, bad things, everything. These guys rock. So if you get a chance, stop by and check out Band of, Band of Builders on Instagram and each one of us. It's it's a great family. Um, I also want to shout out um, Transpose E-Juice, you know, Austin, Texas. Awesome juice company. We're going to be doing a giveaway with uh, one of the Warrior RDAs, uh, three of their juices, some cotton, and coils. So that's going to happen in a few weeks, and uh, we'll keep keep everybody posted on it. Um, other than that, I want to thank everybody for who's who has interest in the Warrior RDA. You know that thing was made with passion. Uh, Miranda Jones, Juan, all you guys out there who support us, we appreciate that. So I want to thank each and every one of you individually, but I can't. So thank you, everybody. Trav's going to show up at your house individually in the middle of the night. At 11 <laughs> o'clock p.m. <laughs> we here. Texting, texting like you personally. Not here. Getting, getting, you know, guys black, have a U.S. one or a titanium gun? I hear. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna, who you want to pass that off to, Travis? Uh, Demo. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys so much for being on the show. We really, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I, I had one more question for you real quick while I'm doing my sign out. Any sure. tips to people who buy the Warrior RDA for building it? Any tips like air placement coils, you know, close, far away, all that kind of stuff? Uh, pull pull your coils out a little bit from the post. Uh, it doesn't have to be too far away. The airflow goes pretty much uh, to the side and underneath those coils if you just mm -hmm. put them straight in. Uh, but my biggest tip is, uh, do you know, when you put your coils in, get them set where you want them. Uh, do about between a half to a whole turn on each screw evenly across until you get them tight to where you want that way the clamps are distributed even no matter where your build is placed and you'll get a nice solid connection awesome cool yep. thank you agree 
all right well guys well i'm demo with demo vapes um check me out on youtube demo vapes and uh instagram is at demo underscore vapes uh also i've got uh, some coils that are coming to lucidrda.com very soon so uh you know keep your eyes peeled for that and uh you know we're, we're, we're definitely working on that so um also stan and i are going to be doing a joint review tomorrow at some point what? And this is the first time I think we've ever we this is the first time we've done it and it's going to be on both of our channels at the same time. Live. A joint live review. Yep. Oh, Absolutely. So uh check that out. We don't have a time yet I don't think, but uh unless we do. Yeah, it's right. No worries. Me and Nick got something in the works. Anyway. Y'all stay tuned for that since you know <laughs> two are going to kind of band together. Oh, don't, don't. Nick with Daily Bay Television are definitely going to collaborate. Don't, take it that way. don't be happen. jealous, Joel. It's going to be a shit show, I promise. Yeah, oh, we're gonna I'm, make sure ours is good. You know, I got running I'm alive. Gonna, I'm it's gonna be a call shit in show. Old Twisted. You know, maybe get him in. I know he doesn't do weekend <laughs> lives, but maybe we can get something lined. What time are y'all going live again? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Four the in the morning. Is real. Four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> in a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You stay up. Um, yeah. So uh, after show? Question mark. Or are we just doing Discord? Everybody's wanting after show. I don't know why, but everybody's on the. I'm not going to do the after show. I'll be present in the after show, but I do have to get back to my what baby. About, what, about, what about you, Stan? I have work to. I have work, actual work to do after All this. Right. I actually took oh, a nap. So no after show, really? I took a nap no after, after my job before this, so that I could stay up and do my work. Guys, no, no after show. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> look, I, we'll do a Discord after show for. That's a how you while. do J and T Elite. J and T Elite comes on your show, and you don't want to do an after yeah, show. If you, See how it goes. Yeah, everyone else gets an after show. If you, yeah, everybody else got does. A, if you guys have any interest in this. True. Had it been Grim Green, I bet that'd have been Travis an after show. Uh, Travis bro, is probably going to be Grim The right. Marine is, is complaining going to about worse, getting up at 2.30 in the morning. What just happened? Man. Uh, well, <laughs> if any of you guys want to participate in our after Discord, um, we'll get you links after this show is done and stuff like that. So sure, Cool. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's me. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Nick. Yeah. All right. Well, Sorry, uh, I was long-winded there. <laughs> I'm just going to pimp my own products, Blazy Liquid. Make sure you guys check it out on lucidrda.com. Available right now, all four flavors. Um, yeah, make sure you check out my channel if you want some reviews. All better than, you know, the rest of the panel, obviously. And <laughs> <laughs> kidding, <laughs> kidding. Um, yeah, I think it was an awesome show. Thank you guys, JMT, for being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, just to let everyone know that have been asking about it, yes, Johnny is the love child between me and Grim Green. Uh, that <laughs> Johnny Drip, so there you go. <laughs> and uh, look forward to hanging out with you guys at some point in the future. So what you say? And thank you, everyone, on the uh, in, in chat as well. Love you guys. Yeah, right. How'd that go with you and Grim? Was it? Uh, yeah. Like, I don't uh, think it was love. Well, you know I don't how think Joel it was said love. cuddle struggle. It's kind of like that. Right, I got you. <laughs> you were struggling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joel, it's it's your turn. <clears throat> All right, everybody, vaping Mr. Just Right One is damn sure checking back in and checking out at the same damn time. I'm going to say it like I always have before, but before I get to that, I want to take a time out and thank you, Mr. Travis, for your services to our country. Without people like you that do what you have done, we would not be a country in which we are afforded the freedoms in which we are afforded on a daily basis. Please do not know that that, please know that that does not go unnoticed or unappreciated. It is something that I personally make it a point to say thank you for your services it is it means the absolute world to me to know that there are people out there that fight for our freedoms on a daily basis thank you thank you joel and i appreciate everything you've done for us so thanks a lot no thanks is needed man i learned chinese culture this week amongst friends you do not say thank you because when you are with friends you don't thank them for something that friends do that's what they're supposed to do that's why they are your friends so in the Chinese culture, moving forward in any business, business meetings you may have, thank you is not an acceptable term amongst friends. You don't because say thank you friends, in Texas, you're going to get a sideways look, and you know that. I know that, <laughs> but I'm expressing the world culture that I took in this week, you know, that do not say thank you, because whenever you're amongst friends, and it makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. There. So, so what does. do you say, or do you say make them faster? <laughs> what I've been telling them? We Every hear. time I would say, say thank hear. you, I replace thank you with my pleasure. Mm. There you go. There you go. You no, know, it's my, my pleasure to be your friend. It's my pleasure for you to do what you've done. Thank. It's basically saying thank you without saying thank you in my eyes. It's his pleasure but, to leave his wife in the middle of the ocean. 
<laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hashtag chubby but funky. Thank you. Thursday. <laughs> All right, guys. And uh, on that note, guys, I don't have no plugs to give tonight. I don't. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to the stew. Thank you for everybody shooting me messages. My messages have blown up. People offering gear and. You know, hey man, sorry you lost your stuff, dude. I don't need nothing. I can go buy it. I'll get it again. It's nothing. It'll ha- it'll it'll work itself out. Uh, say like I always do. If at any given point in time you've ever felt like you're not a somebody, I want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes, and that somebody is me. I absolutely love each and every one of you. Stay blessed, Mister Just Right One. Checking in and checking out at the same damn time. Y'all stay blessed. Love you. Stan, go ahead. Everybody you finish up with All right. I'll take the bullet after measly Joel's. Measly sign off. <laughs> after Joel's freaking award winning sign off. Um, I, feel, I feel shitty about mine now. I know, right? <laughs> it, he makes us feel every, that way every, every week. <laughs> but, but it's not like you can do the same thing because then you're copying Joel, right? You're only yeah. doing it because Joel's doing it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to have to go back and review exactly what he said and make it my own. I just want to <laughs> remind you guys that Miranda Jones just said half, hashtag Mr. That's Just Wrong for the win. Um, <laughs> You yeah. know, the, thank you very much for being here, guys. You guys know we absolutely love you. you guys know the Stooges are are we absolutely love y'all support, and every week we look forward to being here with you guys. The chat is always lit. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> Damn it, it's all the time. <laughs> Um, I've been so good about that too this week. That was the first time. Son of a gun. We had a rocky start, but we had great guests. We had great conversation. And uh, just so that you guys know, the Vape Stew crew on Facebook group, that is our Facebook group. That is where the Discord link is located. I will go on after the show and I'll prove as many as I can. Um, if you guys want to try to get in on the Facebook group, we have lots of fun there. Uh, all kinds of stuff, advocacy posts, hand checks, Friday cloud checks, things like that. Uh, the community is great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to check out lucidrda.com. L E limited edition lucid dreamer combos are coming very soon. We just finished the last list of patrons this week, so that means everything else that I have, which is only about 20 of them left, will be going on. So I get one? No, you don't get one. Uh oh, you've lost your you've lost your dreamer privileges. If someone tries <laughs> to sell you one, I'm going to I'm going to tell them no. Um LE Lucid Dreamer combos will be available hopefully next this coming week on the website. And check out our live review tomorrow. So thank you very much for being here, you guys. I appreciate it. Everyone here appreciates it. The Warrior RDA, don't forget to check it out. Uh reviews coming soon on this channel, and I'm sure many others. You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And remember. Vape on, friends. Boy! Don't be but funky. Hell yeah.